we're getting back to rags to riches challenge, but make it about crystal creations. Um, <laughs> I told you guys last time we uh, zhuzhed up our house a little bit, but I wasn't quite satisfied with it at the end of the day. We had about 14K, 13K, 14K, give or take left and i told you guys that off screen i was just gonna chop whatever i had done move things around and revamp the house so without further ado let me first start you off with the with the house renovation so this is what she looks like currently um and i guess it's nighttime so that's nice i love how she's got a wrap around porch that goes all the way to the back. I do love that. I think that's very cute. So I'm very satisfied with that. You go back to the front of the house. And oh, look at our mailbox. One of the wall mailboxes. I never use it, so I thought I would. Here is now the uh, living room and kitchen. So this is what I did with the leftover 14K that we did have. I went ahead and got a bigger couch to this version and a chair. This is the living room setup now. And I promise you, we literally only have $3 left. So I used up every bit of that 14K to make the house. <laughs> um, so yes. Sorry, Potty Mouth is out of control today. <laughs> you guys can use potty mouth i don't care what you guys say well i care a little bit what you guys say in chat just be nice to each other but it doesn't pop up on my youtube so it's fine and then here is the kitchen connects straight into the living room i used the same furniture that we had for the kitchen last time i did end up deleting a couple um counters and you know cabinets up there but that's fine i like how this picture ties together the kind of color shade Shading the blue family and the orange family as well. I think it all brings, um, it brings it together right here, you know. And then, um, like I said, this door leads out into the backyard with the wraparound porch. This room here is an extra bedroom. I didn't have enough funds to go ahead and make it, but we do have another bedroom over here. This door here leads into the bathroom. So here is the bathroom. Didn't change it much. Um, just uh, put everything in here. It's all right. Could use some more things. It needs more bits and bobs. It feels a little empty. If it could use a rug in front of it. I feel like I could do a shelf right here above the toilet. So it's a little empty, but it's still cute. Uh, and this room here is our uh, crystal crafting and jewelry crafting area with, of course, our alien collection. I have all of the crystals. Oh, I didn't realize that they technically break into the ceiling, but I don't care that much. <laughs> we have all of our crystals and metals over here looking great. I love the moonstone. The moonstone is so pretty. So pretty. I love how it glows. It's the only gem that glows which it's the moonstone, makes sense. And I toned down the wallpaper. I wanted to keep the wallpaper in this room, but I toned it down to just the neutral color so it's not as stand out-ish, and it kind of matches more with the rest of the house. And then here is the bedroom. Oh my God, I adore the bedroom. I think the bedroom came out great. I love it. I spent a lot of money in this room, as you can see. <laughs> but isn't she gorge? I love this CC bed. It's like a boho CC um, bedding and stuff like that. There was like a pack. It just released like a last month or so. Um, and it's a CC pack, so it's custom content. But I absolutely love, 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 love it. It's called boho something. Boho living, boho chic, something like that. Um, of course, we had to have a little rock lamp and some candles. It's got this little jewelry piece handy. And the plants with this. Oh, I love these lamps. I can never pick one. They look so good together. We got art. I got a little plant hanging on this open window. Oh, my gosh. If I have windows that opened up like this in my house, oh, gone. I'd be lit. Oh. And then over here, we have a little shelf with a bunch of books 
and some of her other uh, crystal creations that she collects along with like this lunar moth thing and more books and then like a nice little I just nice little shelfy area love is the open window CC yes it is yes it is oh also there is a second story to the house um but I have not done anything currently with it because we didn't have the funds so I have a second story technically obviously if you like get out and look at the house you can see we have a second story but uh I didn't have the funds to furnish it so this will have to work but in the meantime, oh, I guess that wall's plain. I should add something to it technically, but you know, I play with like half walls. So <laughs> you don't really see that wall, so it didn't matter to me. <laughs> but there it is, guys. This is the house. Um, I hope you guys like it. I yeah. have a feeling that our boyfriend is not going to like it. Oh, I can evolve my tree. I just now noticed that. Now we have nice quality. Oh, I wonder what that'll do for like the crystals that we harvest if we'll get better ones. And she is already making herself comfy in the house. Oh, I didn't lose all my frogs. I thought I did. <gasps> we got a new frog. We have a dirt wheel, a dirt wool frog. Okay, now we got another nine. Nice. I'm always trying to breed the frogs because I let I want to do um, a couple different of the collections. I want to get my aliens today. I'm going to finish my alien collections today. I swear. Um, what other collections do I have? The TV is so loud. Like, can I turn the volume down, please? Um, we have 11 out of 25 frogs. Technically, I still haven't found two medals. And I don't know how to find them. <laughs> I don't know if there's a certain thing I need to do for them because I haven't found these bottom ones either. Two get to work ones and two jungle ones. Like I wonder if I actually have to go to the jungle to get these ones. So I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Gardening. I want to find one more. I have one more My Sims trophy to find. I want to find him today too if I could. But most importantly, I just want to finish this aliens collection. I want the last two live aliens to complete my missing section here. Off to the jungle we go. I, that's what I'm wondering. Do I need to do the jungle? Oh, I'll invite my boyfriend in there. Guacamole! Thank you so much for the 21 3 sub. We are getting so close to a two year anniversary, sweetheart. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Jelja. Oh. Uh, Veranoi, Hueba, Farsicon, Darboing. The boyfriend's gonna hate the house. I know. It's so sad, but maybe he'll get over that for us. Maybe he'll get past his wanting, you know, a poor girl thing. <laughs> but um, to be able to have us, you know, maybe he'll get over it. I'm going to turn it to something a little quieter. Why do I feel like that's so loud? With the frog collection, would you display them like crystals or no? Oh my gosh, frogs are so much harder because I guess they're not necessarily that big. They feel big. If I got more frogs than I actually was able to find a bunch of them, maybe. All right, let's see. We don't work for another three days. It's about to be morning though, so. Oh my gosh. I don't have a massive garden I have to take care of. <gasps> oh, it's so nice. I love that I'm just gonna... <gasps> oh my god, is that a bunch of plumite that I just got? That's really good, actually. Alright, well, let's see. What can I sell real quick? Are these all the things I can sell today? I forgot I should have made more jewelry. I didn't. 
So we only have three dollars, so we are back to being broke. Also, I called my boyfriend over and he didn't come. Oh, because he was sleeping. Okay. Makes sense. Guys, I have a feeling that Wooster Piggins is stuck. I've reset him once or twice, but he never moves. I'm kind of concerned for him. Like, he's gonna die if he doesn't go anywhere. We have a boyfriend? Yes, we do! His name is Jeb. He's pretty cute. Pretty cute, honestly, I'd have to say. Oh, thank you, Blair. Thank you, Blair. Somebody buy my alien another little statue. Do I have anything else to sell? Ooh, I got more aliens. Come buy my aliens! Buy my aliens. I, I need to get rid of all the dead ones. I got a dead squid and two dead corals. Who wants them? Uh, El Faba or El Strahd, sorry. I know you want some. You like odd things. No! <laughs> Buy my aliens! Buy my dead aliens. Please, please. Please and thank you. Somebody buy one, please. Please. Daniel, you're a freaky boy. Please. Clara? Yeah! Clara, way to go! <laughs> Thanks for getting one of the dead corals. Yes, thank you, Miss Roswell. Thank you, Miss Prescott. Do I have anything else to stock the table with, or is that it? Ooh, I got frogs and and other stuff now. You guys know you want some frogs. What a kind of a, a spotted dirt frog. It's not going to make me a lot of money, but I can at least get rid of it. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Please, someone buy my dead aliens. <laughs> Now buy my live frogs. I'm not selling dead things anymore. Now I got live stuff. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> I got a monster back today, guys. So hopefully I don't die. <gasps> Jeb is coming to give me a gift because we're so special to him. Jeb, don't tease me. I do want the gift. I want the gift. I will stop selling things right now. If you come over with a gift, you better not lie to me. How's cooking that baby coming along, Miss Bretta? How is it? You've been pregnant for forever, and she will forever stay pregnant because I have her own pregnancy freeze. Because I think it's cute to see a pregnant lady walking around in the game every now and then. <laughs> she is stuck in forever pregnancy. I have a yard sale going, and hardly no one is coming to look at my stuff. Hello, Bianca Tylers. Wait, I, I think you and Bretta are married. I think Bianca and Bretta are married, if I remember correctly. And they're having a science baby together. I think. Do I have anything else to sell? More frogs? Oh, more rocks. I have a broken rock? One that has a spearhead. Ooh, one that has a skull. Oh, the spearhead one is gone. You guys want this broken rock, right? It could be great for making a path to your house. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm selling it for $30. <laughs> Roughly. Ish. I'm just kidding. Probably more like 15 <laughs> But still. I sold it for 18 See, I was closer. Don't ask me to do math. Panda's bad at doing math. <laughs> Good lord, to be forever pregnant. A forever pregnancy would be rough. <laughs> I got another dead alien! Who wants a dead alien or a skull trapped in a rock? Yes, these are the things I sell. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, May Prescott, I know you want it. Oh, come on. Someone, someone please. Olive, Olive Spectre, you're a freaky lady as well. You've maybe murdered many Sims. Don't you want this dead alien? I know you like dead things. You mother, she never buys anything. Yes, thank you.
He just proposed to us. Oh, I'm in the middle of selling things, Jeb. You couldn't have come up with a more romantic way? Some of you are saying I should say yes. I guess he liked the house. Must have, or he's putting it past himself. Crappy time, but yes. <laughs> I guess we'll say yes, why not? Could be fun. We don't have the money to, uh, the extra finances though, to throw a wedding, which I don't think he'll mind, personally. Oh my gosh, I actually just uh, sold my last thing. So Jeb, of course I will marry oh, you. Zargala. Wait, I need to make him a ring. Oh, we didn't get to make him a ring. We have to make him a ring. Um, which one should we make him? Um, this one? It looks like kind of like a diamond. Okay, what do we make him? Guys, what, what should we do for him? What, uh, what color of metal should I do? The first two results that I see that are the same. I will pick. So once somebody says blue, blue, or gold, gold, or you know, something like that, that's the first result I'm gonna say. I see one response for gold. Ooh, we got double gold. Easy right there, gold. All right, and the stone color, same thing. Reset yourselves, reset yourselves. Now, what color of crystal? I see a blue, blue, back to back. I saw a blue, blue. Blue, blue it is. So what shade of blue? The sapphire? Oh, I don't have any light blues of those. So sapphire it is. Well, do I have a lighter blue? No, I don't. Sapphire it is. We have gold and sapphire. All right, we can't sell this one, which sucks, but it's gonna go to our Jeb boy. We got blue and gold. We got Michigan Wolverine colors. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It better be pretty. I think it will be. Here it is. Oh, guys. It's beautiful. What a good job, guys. You guys did great. <laughs> my phone keeps autocorrecting Jeb to Ken. Yeah, because those are similar. <laughs> it's beautiful. He'll love it. A fucking save, Josie! Oh, Kadoki, I'm saving. I'm saving. I saved. See? Thank you, Manders, for that reminder. I know you guys were all yelling at me to save, but I was too busy. I was wrapped up in the moment. Can we, like, give it to him, though? Plan wedding event. I would like... To give him this ring. Can I gift him this ring? Wait a second. I heard there was a glitch with gifting items. Is that still going on? I did just save. I'm going to save again now. Bells! Thank you so much for that 17-month resub. Hello, sexy, gorgeous goddess. Yours. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's how you lose your progress. What's how I lose my progress? Gift to Jeb. Hopefully this goes okay. Hey, Finn. Philbar. Dibblewisbar. Philbar. <laughs> Jeb, I give you this uh, ring. Oh, for yes. Thank oh. you for proposing. I'm giving you a ring. Huh? You better wear it. Huh? <gasps> oh, he put it on right away. Let me see it. Let me see it. Show me that finger. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, it's gorgeous. He's so proud of it. Oh, Pana Diola. All right, well, we got a plan um, because we're going to go elope. So I'd say let's get a, a decent little. Oh, do we wear the same dress that we have on though? It could work. Not on his ring finger, sus. Well, I mean, they're not married yet. I 
actually, it would be kind of cute to see her wear this. I know it's not white white. Could do this one, but I think this would be cute. All right, guys, tell me, do we do this dress for her to elope in, or do we try and find, like, a cheap wedding dress? Like, maybe when she thrifts, because we don't have a lot of money, technically. So I feel like it would be weird to see her in a very expensive dress. I'm putting up a poll, sorry. <laughs> All right, go ahead, guys. What do you guys think? A woods wedding? Ooh, maybe we do a honeymoon? What if we had a honeymoon and we went to Sel Salvadoria? and try to find those other two crystals. Let me see, Sims for Jungle Adventures Crystals. Let's see, well, how to mine, what to do, get to work, okay. Sims of the Jungle Adventures pack created refined crystals. Regular crystals can be refined using the archaeology table, and these pure crystals can be used to create relics. Okay, so. Sims Jungle Adventures pack can be re create refined crystals. So we'd have to do the uh, archaeology table, which I can't say I'm familiar with. Also, you guys said to keep the OG dress, so that is what we're going to do. We don't have money to be spending on things, so it makes total sense that we would just keep this dress. I don't know if we maybe... To feel more brightly? Eh. Doesn't feel like her thing. Or at least that didn't. I think this is fine. I think she'll be good like this. Is this camera? Um, I did it. It's a Sony camera. I, eh. I actually don't know if it is on Amazon anymore, but you can check the Amazon link. It should be in that. Um, I can't remember anymore if it's the exact same one, but I know it's a Sony camera. <laughs> Um, go ahead and check that link. I think, uh, one of my mom, uh, Gein just put it out. So check that link. It might be there. All right. So we're going to go elope. You guys are saying take them to the forest. I don't know if there is necessarily a forest. Where should they go to get married? I'm guessing you guys are thinking like a nature woods type wedding is what I'm thinking that you guys want. Here is my idea. I feel like it's something that very much fits uh, who she is. So this is my plan. I'm gonna add Jeb to the household though, because I don't know if he'll follow me and I'd like to be able to tell him to come with me. I also didn't plan on taking money from Jeb when he moved in because I still wanna earn money like my way. So I'm not going to be <laughs> uh, 
taking any money from Jeb right now. I can't be Danielle, thank you so much for that prime resub, sweetheart. Thank you. For 15 months, goodness, Danielle. All right. Come here, Jeb. Um, go here, go here. Is there a lot in here? There is technically a lot, but I think it's rather ugly over here. <laughs> so I will not be using this location, but that's kind of good to know. You know what? I'm curious. Has anyone made anything for this lot for... God... I want to build like an old mining thing. That'd be funny. Forgotten Grotto. I want to see if anybody's made anything. People have built little houses. Oh, that's cute. It's interesting. It doesn't really fit. <gasps> like this! This is what I was talking about. That'd be so cool. Yeah, like a little mining camp. See, other people think what I think. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh, this is cute too. A little camping section. See, this is why you always check if anybody's actually done anything because this is too cute. He's built a whole house. These are fun. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. Like a little old uh, railway house would be funny. I kind of want to do... Where was it? Part of me wants this one, but I also don't like how much clutter is going on. That one's also so cluttered. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be <laughs> debating on this this long. I want the other one, the more simplistic looking one. Oh, that's cute too. Oh, I like that. Nice. Where is it at? I just saw it earlier. I liked it. It was simple, but it was cute. Where is it at? Please, I'm begging. No. No. Ugh. Was it this one? Mm, no, it wasn't this one either. Why can't I find it back? It was really simple. There it is. This is the one I wanted. This is it. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Sorry. <laughs> Amanda, do you have ADHD by chance? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I think Athena has called me out on that before and said that she thinks I have ADHD, but you know, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> well, now there's gonna be a cool little section here, which is nice.
And you're right, I should say. Saving. Change outfit. Aw, his formal's not that formal either. I love that. Oh no, she's tired. No! Come over here. Don't do anything. Change outfit, change outfit. There. I love that for them. All right, elope immediately. Of course, you guys wouldn't stand the way I want you to. Hoping you guys would go sideways, but I guess. Oh, here, this. This is an angle. And we got the crystals in the background. <laughs> save, 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 save your booty. <laughs> I don't need to save every 10 minutes. Yabahorn, right? Just a uh, heads up, there's another patch. Another one? Oh. Which I, I mean, that's good, you know, for the people that like are having a lot of issues and stuff like that, but uh. All right, so Jeb is married to us now. Question oh, is. Uh -huh. Oh, Jeb. Yeah. Oh. oh. Do we go on a honeymoon? What do you guys think? Honeymoon, yeah or nay? Let me do a poll. Actually, let's just, just chat real quick. Tell me, a honeymoon, yes or nay? Yay or nay? I'm seeing lots of yeses. I never feel bad for harassing when it comes to saving. Okay, we got a lot of yeses. So a vacation it is. Colin fake sick. We don't have, uh, we don't have to go to work for two days. So actually, I mean, that's perfect. So travel, take a vacation with our hubby. Drink they saved all their money for that instead of the wedding. Body. It'll probably only be like a one, two day excursion, <laughs> but let's see, where do we want to go to a honeymoon? Ooh, we could go camping. Very, you know, cheap, very savvy. We could go, or we could go to Sel Salvadorian. No, we're not going to Batu. No, we're not going to Mount Conombre. Or no, we're not going to San Sequoia. So, do we want to go to Sel Selva Salvadora? Salvadorada. Salvadorada? I can't. I always call it Sel Salvadoria. Which is not correct, but that is the only <laughs> Salvador <laughs> The jungle or camping? Do we want to go jungle or camping? Vote now. I just put up a poll. <laughs> are we going to the jungle or are we going camping? <laughs> camping to save more money. You're doing your best. <laughs> I try. I can't. I always call it Sil Salvadoria, which is not correct. Is it close? Sort of. Except I add cell in the middle of it. Sil Salvadorada. <laughs> and I edit it. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> god, that makes me think of like driving around in my dad's car or my dad's truck when I was little. Welcome to jungle. Na, 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 na. <laughs> and you guys have voted. We are going to the jungle. Of course, we'll pick the cheapest room. Uh, okay, so this is 500 a night. 
Nope, not that one. 600, 600, 200. Oh, this, she might be our winner. Oh, we're going 200 tonight. There we go. We're going to go for, we'll just say two days, right? Two days is fine. We'll see if we stay that long, but we'll at least do two days, maybe. We can still camp in the jungle and do both. Yeah, we could do, still do both. All right, so here is our little humble abode. And she is really tired, so I'm gonna let her go to sleep. I'll have Jeb go to sleep too. Oh, Jeb, you're a level one side, of course. Okay, of course. I wish this was a residential place. I know, it would be so beautiful. I love the little kitchen. I don't know why it's so adorable. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, she's going to have to go to the bathroom. He's hungry. Make yourself some oatmeal. What broke? We just got here. This place sucks. <laughs> What a vacation experience! The fridge is broken! Are you kidding me? Oh. I got the Jungle Agen Adventures for free. I really need to use this world more. I honestly, I need to take my Sims out on vacations more often too because it is really cute. Oh, crystals! We got crystals and metals right there. Wake up, woman! We got crystals to harvest. <laughs> Jeb, I guess, do you want to repair this? How's the rest of your needs? You could go to the bathroom real quick. You better hurry up and do that before your wife wakes up. Oh my god, we have to consummate the marriage still. Oh, they have to go outside to go to the bathroom? That makes sense. Alright, you've slept long enough. Go to the bathroom before you pee yourself. Take a shower, and then you can go ahead and make yourself a little cup of noodles. Oh, ramen sounds good right now. Even just the store-bought ramen, but you gotta zhuzh up your ramen, okay? You gotta add some seaweed, add um, some paprika, <laughs> chili powder, garlic. What else do I put in my ramen? Green onions. Oh, fry up an egg if you can't. Delicious. No, Jeb! He's getting attacked by spiders! Oh, but he's got bug spray. Way to go, Jeb. Where'd you get bug spray? Where'd you get all this already? He's got a machete. Our marriage license? Limpy noolets. Do we have a machete? Why don't we have a machete? Where did you go get everything? Oh my gosh, I love the outdoor kitchen. It's so cute. Are you, you're gonna spill all of your cup of noodles. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do that. Jeb's voice is so low. I forget sometimes. Jeb, do you have family? You do have family. He has a brother named Gideon. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me, let me, um, yeah, Jeb has family. He's not just a loner Jeb like us. <laughs> He's married to me. He has a brother named Gideon. His dad's name is Cletus. His mom's name is Faye. And his grandma's name is Francine. So he is a third generation sim. How much money did he bring from this marriage? Nothing. Nothing. Um, because I didn't want him to. I wanted to do it on our own this way. All right, well, you know what? We need to consummate the marriage now. So. <laughs> kind of hoping to get pregnant because I would love to have a little bubble pop. Oh. 
Do we have an insurance policy quick? Marriage of Machete, I've seen this in a movie! <laughs> oh, I guess it is bad. He's got some sort of spray. Probably to blind us. It's probably pepper spray. He's got a machete. He took us to a remote location. Maybe this is bad for us. All right, Allie, get your butt up. We have crystals to harvest. And if we're lucky, they'll be like ones we need. <gasps> you know what? I'm gonna let her change one of her outfits. Because I recently just got um, a new underwear set, a new lingerie set. And you know what? I think we've seen her in this uh, get up long enough. I think we need a new look. So there's this nightgown. Oh, she has a necklace. And there is this nightgown that came from that set. Or we could get this nice robe. Oh. Gorgeous. But she's too that's too fancy. I feel like that's when she, when she needs to be rich. I think this new nightgown is absolutely adorable. So I think we'll do this one. And I have something else I would like to do. Ah. Um, so we also have this top, this bralette, this lunch, and this blah, 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 blah. And I think this would be perfect for their honeymoon. Call me cheeky. Also, it comes with shorts. <laughs> that. Which you, she's seen, you guys seen her in that one already, but let's do this. We're getting spicy here today on this, where, this wedding. And it comes with stockings too, I believe. Yes. <laughs> love, love, love. I think actually this is the one that's supposed to fit it. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. What about this? Oh, that is cute too. I I, I just got this new lingerie set. I have it saved to my Pinterest. Um, What is the collection called? I can remember. It's called the Heartbeat Lingerie Pat, or, um, yeah, it's called Heartbeat Lingerie by Serenity and Sayo or something like that. It's two, there's two of them. So there's one creator that has half the creations and then another creator that has the other half. So you have to make sure you read the description and go to the other creator to get the rest of the CC. But it's gorgeous. I love, love, love this stuff. And I had to use it with you guys at least once. So... We'll put her in this little uh, nighty. If I want to do, oh, can't do those slippers. Nope. Aww. All right, we'll just go with this. So she can choose. She can either wear the adorable nightgown or she can spice things up, up to her. But I wanted to change that because I wanted to use that. I want to show it off. Am I 18? Yes. Do I want those for myself? Yes. <laughs> If I could pull off something like that, honestly, would be cute. Let me see. All right. So she's not harvesting crystals. Maybe tomorrow night we'll bust that out, but I just thought it was too perfect. <laughs> Um, but real quick, I just want to show you guys. So like I said, it's a part of this heartbeat collection. When you download this, you have to make sure that you're getting all the stuff that you want. So you go down and you hit, um, well, I guess you have, let me take it to the Patreon. So you scroll down and you also have to go over to the other creator. So you can go down and download this person's part. Uh, so Sayo Sayo's Heartbeat Collection Collab, you can get the entire thing, or you can pick and choose whatever ones you want. 
but make sure you go and click the other creator to get the other half of the creations, okay? Because they are both awesome. So make sure you get it by Serenity and one by Co. because they they're, it's two files because they split the collaboration. So if you want that CC, make sure you get it because I love it. <laughs> I just think it's so pretty. I know I don't usually do lingerie stuff on my channel, but I couldn't resist. It was too cute. And there was a, something else. Like I said, it's saved on my Pinterest if you want to have an easy way to find it or you can just Google it. And the other thing I want to show off, I guess while I'm here on my Pinterest, was if you go to the build and buy section and you scroll down, I guess quite a ways. Because somebody was asking me about this one earlier. Here it is. This was uh, the pack that I got the bed from. So it's called Boho Bedroom CC Pack by Sixum CC. So if you want that bed that I have in her room, um, this is the uh, CC pack that you can download for it. It comes with a lot of cute stuff. So I love it. But yeah, it's called the Boho Bedroom. That's what it was, Boho Bedroom. Once again, saved. It is saved to my Pinterest. I get nothing for sending you guys to my Pinterest. It's just an easy place for me to put CC that you guys like. Also, you guys are yelling at me to save again, so I'm saving. <laughs> I was in the middle of explaining things. Did I get any new crystals? That's my main concern. I'm trying to get the last two new ones, which I think I'll... <gasps> I did get a new one! What? I got one of the new crystals! I got another new crystal, too! So I just have one more jungle adventure one to find. And I have to find one more get to work one. <gasps> oh my god, I got one. <laughs> I got one, yes. Okay, so we're gonna have to find more crystal stuff. Oh my gosh, are there any more? Is that a dog? <gasps> it's a stray little puppy. It's a Yorkie. Oh, Bimida! Take it! <laughs> oh, here from TikTok, ja uh, Jealous, Jealous. Thank you so much. I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. Welcome to the Twitch chat. Welcome to our club. All right, you guys are all yelling at me to take it, so let's go ahead and introduce ourselves. And I'm just gonna add it to my family. And now I'm gonna save, because we're not gonna have a burger situation on our hand, okay? We're not gonna have a burger situation on our hand. There. You will make that dog suffer. No, I won't. <laughs> we need him. We found him, he's ours now. Look at him. Her name is Kelly. Hello, Kelly. You are our puppy now. You're no longer a stray. You're a perfect little lady. We love you. Hello. Lulu, 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 Lulu. Look at you. You're so pretty. Okay, guys, I have been. You know what, chat? I'm going to need your help. So, this year, on March 20th, is my, my dog Coda's eighth birthday. I have never, by the way, Coda is like the first real dog I've ever had in my life. I got him when I was 18 years old. He's my husky. Well, actually, I've learned he's actually an Alaskan Malamute husky mix. More leaning on the Alaskan Malamute size because he is way bigger than huskies are supposed to be. He lines more with an Alaskan Malamute size and he's not fat. I've asked the vet numerous times if he's overweight. He's not. He's, the vet is like, yeah, I'm pretty confident he's Alaskan Malamute and not a Husky. And I was like, oh, I just was told when I bought him that he was. Not that I care. I really don't care. But Coda, my, uh, my Husky, is turning eight years old this year. And it has me thinking more and more about his life expectancy. I know this is going to get really sad. I've never had a dog pass away with me because he's like my first real dog. My parents have had dogs when I was a kid, but my parents are not 
They say they like dogs, but they don't like dogs. They like the idea of a dog. They don't actually like a physical dog, though, because they, they would get us a dog as a puppy, and before the dog was even, like, two, three years old, they'd get rid of him. So my parents were bad dog people, but they wanted to get rid of Coda numerous times when I had him. Uh, when I was living with my parents and I had him, they tried to get rid of him numerous times, but I would never let them. This is my old man. You guys have seen him a couple times here before, but this is Coda. He is getting very old now. He's going to be eight years old. And I know the life expectancy of uh, Huskies and Alaskan Malamutes is like maybe 12 years. Um, and so I'm very scared that he's gonna pass away sometime or that he's gonna get cancer, pass away. Because that's what happened to my husband's husky. My husband's husky got cancer when it was nine years old. And they found out the day before and had to put him down the next day because it had spread so far they didn't even know. Um, so I'm terrified. I am terrified. Uh, Hold on, my husband's coming. Okay, um, I'm still gonna be streaming. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, minor emergency. So, my son's in bed, it has nothing to do with Ryder. Um, <laughs> a pipe just broke. <laughs> in our laundry room and so water was spraying everywhere um luckily um apparently he had been trying to call me but i always have my phone on silent so i did not hear um so our hot water pipe just burst in our laundry room don't know why um <laughs> Um, but Max was able to run down into the basement and turn off the main water line. Um, but he needed my help to move some big things out of the laundry room and kind of move things around. There's, wa there's water everywhere. It, the, pi the pipe broke so hard it hit the ceiling in my laundry room. <laughs> and now there's nasty ceiling, like dusty ceiling water all over the <laughs> entire laundry room. <laughs> But it's okay. Um, we didn't renovate that room yet, so it's all just crappy anyways, which is fine. <laughs> um, but no, it's fine. I helped him mop up the as much of the water as I could, and uh, we moved all the electronics that we could out of there. Um, but he said he's fine now. He got the water to stop. It's leaking a little bit still, but it's manageable right now so he said he's good i'm gonna turn my phone volume on now i told him if something else happens and he needs me to call me but he's just gonna clean up now so he told me to go and that he was good now but uh <laughs> he was literally running into the basement by the time i uh <laughs> by the time i finally heard him because he hollered twice for me and i didn't hear him the first two times so yeah we're good now <laughs> Okay, <laughs> good times, um, but we're good. He's just gonna be doing some cleaning up now. I asked him if he wanted me to stop streaming um, and come help him, but he said it's fine. So I guess we're good. <laughs> well, I guess, um, luckily I took a shower today, so I don't know how long it'll be before we get some hot water back, but hopefully not too long. I have a feeling my uh, husband's dad will be out tomorrow to help us out and fix that up, so. Um, his big barn that we just got him was in my laundry room, though, because it was on a table in the laundry room, and it got covered in water, so, <laughs> but, it, you know, not too bad that it's, like, gonna be soaked through. We just had to dry it off real quick, because I hadn't painted it or primed it yet, so, but it'll be all right. <laughs> the joys of home ownership, right? I know. I'm so sorry that I, that delay, it took me so long to come back. Um, we should be good now, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is there like a pet bowl around here that I can use? Yeah, no need. And I and I bathed. I gave um, Ryder a bath today, and I gave myself a bath today. So even if it takes a couple days, like a day or two, to get uh, the pipe fixed, um, we should be okay. We should be okay. So. Ryder's got a bath, and babies, they don't really get that dirty. 
<laughs> at this age. At the age he's at, at least, they don't really get uh, too bad. So he should be fine. And I just showered today, and I can go a day or two um, before my hair gets really crazy and it really needs a shower. And if so, I can take a cold shower really quickly. No worries. We'll be all right. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. Oh, I thought you manifested something talking about your doggo. I know. <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> what I was saying about Coda before I left is... So I have Raya. And Raya is very clingy. She's very attached to Coda. I mean, she's had Coda her entire life. She's, a, she's three years old now. She has known Coda her entire life. Um, and so I don't want her when Coda pass, <gasps> I found more crystals. Um, when Coda passes away, I don't want her to be alone. So I want to get another dog before Coda passes away. That way Raya is not alone because I don't think she would be able to handle that very well if, you know, cause I would want her to say goodbye if I had, you know, if we, if, you know, willing, um, I hope she's able to say goodbye to him and she knows that he's passed on because, I don't know, I hope that she can at least say bye to him and understand that he's gone other than thinking that he's just not around anymore. Um, I know this is so depressing to talk about, but I'm getting to the point of why I'm talking about this to you guys in a second. Um, oh, what's that? But I, so I'm thinking about getting another dog. And what I, do, oh, more crystals. What I don't want to do is get another dog that's super hairy. I'm very attached to my big dogs, but I think I'm willing to get something that's a little smaller to move on to because, you know, it's just, it's safer for like my kids because I plan on having more kids in the future sometime. Um, you know, it's probably, except for... Little dogs don't mean safer. Like, they bite more than big dogs. Little dogs do. But, like, they can't inflict as much damage, necessarily, usually, as a big dog could. Um, I'm so emotional I'm not crying. I'm sorry! <laughs> um, but, like, so I want your guys' a suggestion. I want a dog that does not shed a bunch. Because I have two massively, massively hairy, sheddy dogs right now. And I love them and I would never get rid of them because of their hair. I knew they were gonna be shedding dogs when I got them. But now that I have two of them and I have a baby that crawls around all the time, if I don't sweep like every day at least minimum or like twice a day, <laughs> I get so much hair all throughout my house. So I'm thinking for the next one, I should get, you know, a dog that doesn't shed as much. But I don't want, I, I'm thinking about a smaller dog, but a part of me still wants a big dog. Um, but I also don't want drool. I have a friend who's dog who has a dog that doesn't shed necessarily a lot. It's not that big of a problem, but the drool is awful. I think I would rather have hair than drool. <laughs> so I'm just wondering what you guys think. Um, do you have any good breed suggestions that are like, you know, very friendly, very friend. Obviously I know how to do my research about dogs. I would not just buy a dog off a whim. Um, but I want your guys' opinion, because there's a lot of dog breeds out there, and some people don't really think about others. I refuse to get a doodle, though. I will say one thing. I don't want to get a doodle. <laughs> I don't want a doodle. Um, also, I have to think about coat maintenance. And while I also love a poodle, I've thought about a poodle a lot. They need to go to the groomers a lot. <laughs> They have to go to the groomers a lot to keep their coat maintained, and I don't want, um, I don't know. With, like, kids, I also need a dog that's, like, kind of low maintenance on the fur. <laughs> that way it doesn't get matted and tangled easily, so also that's something to consider. Get a bully. I thought about a pity. I could get a boxer by my Grandpa Breeds boxers. Um, they, I'm slightly terrified. The only dog breed I'm slightly terrified though is a boxer because as a little kid, their box, their boxers used to jump all over me. 
all the time. And they're also pretty drooly. But they used to jump all over me all the time. So I have a very, like, negative connotation with boxers in my head. I know they're really good dogs. I know they're so sweet. But, like, I have that tiny fear, that tiny childlike fear in the back of my head. I'm like, they're so scary. They jump all over me. <laughs> but any dog can do that. But I know my grandparents, they always used to jump all over me as a kid. And I hated it. <laughs> Oh, look, a parrot. Um, lots of terrier breeds are low shed. How was your day? <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, no, there's a whole bunch of strays over here. We got our stray already, okay? We already have our stray. We don't need a cat, and we don't need another dog. I didn't realize there were so many strays all over. I kind of forgot that that's a thing. There's always a bunch of strays, isn't there? Let's go visit the jungle. Boxers are jumpers. I saw somebody said about a chihuahua that sheds. Oh, where is that? Don't get a chihuahua, they shed a lot. <laughs> One is a teacup chihuahua, and if I wear black, he turns my shirt white with how much he sheds, but I love him. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, they shed, but we love them. I'm trying to limit the amount of shedding that I have to go through, but at the same time, I still love them. Where do I buy the market? Yeah, I need to go to the market before I go to any other part of the map. I need to go to the market and get, like, another machete and some bug spray and stuff. But I have to find it. It's over here, right? I don't remember. I, oh, I think right here. Oh, Ursula is the one selling stuff. So I'm going to purchase a machete. Plasma bat bait. I guess we'll buy that. This simple solution will quickly complete and remove the grime from your body and leave you feeling refreshed and cleaned. Okay. And some bug spray. What's this? This. I think I should buy two machetes, right? During my whole childhood, no problem at all. My mama is allergic to da dander. We had a Yorkie and a Poodle mix and a pug at one point. I, d I love pugs. Or no, sorry. I love Frenchies. And I love Bulldogs. But I'm also... I don't want to get a Frenchie or a pug or a Bulldog or any kind of those breeds. Because I don't want to support the smashed nose. Now, if I can find a responsible breeder who is breeding to, like, lengthen their nose, um, then I would get one. But I don't know how to find one in my area. But if I ever got a pug or a Frenchie or a Bulldog, it would have to be, like, from a responsible breeder who's breeding out the length of their nose. Because a lot of, like, smashed nose dog breeds, like, their noses are getting so smashed that they have extreme breathing problems. You know, they're just not healthy like that. So... I, I, I love a Frenchie. I really want a Frenchie, but I don't want to get them unless I know that um, they will have an extended muzzle. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, you know, the longest muzzle ever, but it has to be long enough, and their nostrils have to be wide enough that they can breathe easy and be a normal dog and not just be there like, eh, 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 the whole time. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I get one, I want to be responsible about it. Yes, because the machetes can break. Yes. Which princess is this? I'm not currently doing the Disney Princess Challenge right now. We're doing a Rags to Riches with the Crystal Creations expansion pack that just came out. Right now I'm trying to find the last two crystals. And those crystals. Um, I'm looking for... Oh, I got the other one. The Alexandrite. I got the two Jungle Adventure ones. That's awesome. Now I need to find this one. I don't know where I got this one. <laughs> but I have one more crystal that I have to find. What about the medals? There was no jungle adventure one, but 
I did get the other jungle crystal. So we got the two crystals, which is awesome because we needed those. So now I have to extend my shelf and make sure that we put the two new ones up on the shelf. But that's awesome. Let's go explore the jungle. I think this first one I can clear path with hands. Don't want to waste my machete, you know. I also have a cat. I do have a black cat named Saber as well. Frenchies are adorable, but it is sad about the bad breeders. Yeah, they keep like smashing their nose up because people think it's really cute. I just feel bad because like they suffer, you know, because they can't breathe. <laughs> and I just, if I did, I, I would, I want a Frenchie. I really do. I love Frenchies and I love Bulldogs. But yeah, if I got one, it would just have to be from a responsible breeder that's working to lengthen their nose out. Lengthen their muscle. Wow, look at her. Look at Allie just ripping through this. And look at her husband. Just enjoying himself. Not helping or anything. Just chilling. Wow. Are we gone? Travel through, my dude. Go. I want to go. Oh. Allie stumbles and drops her bag of personal effects plop. Right into the path of quicksand. Should Allie reach in and try and get it or let it go? But it's going to eat up my machete. I don't want to eat up my... You know what? Actually, I will. Because we have, I have a Jeb with me, and he also has a machete, so we should be good. Ooh, avocados. A seal shut and cannot be open on this trip. Perhaps next vacation it'll open? Ugh. That's no fair. I don't want to have to take another vacation to open it. Let's go this way. And Allie's hands are still tinging. For Can I cut it with my machete? Don't I have two? I thought I bought two machetes. <gasps> I did not buy two machetes. All right, we'll go clear this path with my hands. Oh, bud, I thought you had bug spray. You used it up already? Oh, you better not be poisoned. I wonder how much time of this vacation we have left. Quick leave, then come right back. <laughs> we have another path option. I think we'll be okay. Maybe we will have to come back, though, with Jeb some time and go um, through that other path. Because I don't think I've actually ever gone through it. <laughs> Said my husband. <laughs> I just loaded up my game so I can go play in the jungle. I've never done it. Yes, experiment. Go explore. Go explore the new packs. Have fun with it. That's what we're here to do. We're here to have a good time. Do we? Did we? Did we bring any food with us? I don't think we did. You know what? We got a dirt whirl frog. I need to breed. Oh, Did I get a new one? No, I didn't. <laughs> With what pack did the jungle come? Ah, uh, jungle hey, adventures? Ooh. Is that what it's called? Varner's a torque. Jungle adventures, Java right? Sonny. <laughs> it was jungle adventures. Got him. A giant, uh, no, a glint catches Jeb's eye. He spies something shiny in the middle of the path of vines. As he approaches it, he notices that the vines seem to be moving menacingly and that a torn old boot sits among them. It is evidence of another, is it evidence of another travel, traveler, good lord, words are hard, who wasn't so lucky. Should Jeb attempt to retrieve the shiny object or should he leave the hostile plants alone? Do we retrieve it or do we leave for the treasure? <gasps> Oh, I should have sent her in. 
Because I had this. Consumes plasma bat bait. Dang it, I should have sent Allian because he doesn't have plasma bat bait. Do we get the object or leave it? First comment says get it. Of course you say get it. Well, I guess we'll go get it. Jeb has never heard of a plant that could harm a sim in any of his gardening studies. Drawn by the shiny treasure, he constantly strolls to the patch of vines. The vines, however, open up and let out something swampy. Jungle gas, which poisons Jeb! Why did you guys say that? He's poisoned now! What do I do? <laughs> He's poisoned! Uh, from poison plants, something isn't right. Its icky feeling could go away on its own or get worse. Only time will tell. Maybe acquiring an antidote would be the safest! Are you kidding me? Really, guys? I'm gonna purchase medicine. I hope that that's what I need. Is medicine what I need? I don't have a lot of money, so that better work. I'm gonna take the medicine. Did, did that fix the issue? Guys, I don't think that fixed it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Allie, by the way, are you pregnant? This would be a nice time to know if you're pregnant. Can he spread it to Allie? I hear my dog crying. I think it's because I have my window open and she hears me talking. <laughs> All right, well. You know, real quick, in case he's going to die. Wouldn't that be funny? Let's just have them woohoo one more time. Just because I want to make sure that uh, Allie's pregnant. Vacation is ending. You have one day left on your vacation. Ugh. We're just going to... We can't get poisoned, right? We can't get poisoned because of that, right? Oh, uh, that one can't be open either until the next trip. All right, Allie, you clear this one open with your hands. Have we found any more crystals? <gasps> yes, excavate this. Do it. What is this? Is that the way we came? <sighs> Or is that just another way? I think that's the way that we came, right? Wow, look at that! This is cool! You can just look right over the edge. I'm on the edge of glory And I'm falling off a cliff with you <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> She's like, I'm over this baby. I'm done, I'm leaving. On the edge of glory, and I'm hanging on a moment with you. I'm on the edge of glory. Oh. Alright, there's a lot more paths than I thought because she's about to clear one open. Oh, and now he's getting attacked by bats. Great. Jabby, oh. you're not having a good time. Allie, on the other hand, is doing great. Gets married and the hubby dies on the honeymoon. That's terrible. Um, I guess we'll grab it. Because that worked out for us last time, right? Oh, she lost our bag. <gasps> Travel to the Omniscan Royal Bass. Let's go. What's that? I'm going. She's scrappy. <laughs> Ooh, look at these. This is beautiful. What is this? Oh, it's a bird. That is so cool. Do you see it? It's a parrot. What's here? Oh, different berries. Interesting. Is there any more crystals? Ooh, stuff to excavate. 
I'll have him go do that. You know, he's only going to die in 12 hours. So. I obviously I care. Are you having a hard time running up there? Obviously, I care a bunch. Oh, I keep having them clear their path with hands. Because apparently I don't care about how they feel. <laughs> All right, you haven't even begun to excavate that, so let's stop that already. And you go clear that gate open, and you come over here. <laughs> it's a bear! Um, is there anything else to go through? That was the way we came. The jungle is so cool! I should use this pack more often, I really should. Oh. How long till my husband dies? Mm, nine hours. Oh, we should probably go back, shouldn't we? Oh, a death relic? What's the death relic? That sounds like a great thing. Omniscan skull. A knife. Unauthenticated statue. An avocado. Death relic base. But what is it? Hmm. We can buy it. Do I have an antidote with me? Fire foam. I have, I bought a couple things off the table, but I don't see an antidote. Just in case. <laughs> capybara, 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 capybara. As Jeb emerges. Oh, I have that too. To a clearing through a watering hole, he comes across a small family of capybaras out of an afternoon of drinking. Oops. They look adorable, though the smallest one looks a bit scorched and upset. Should Jeb attempt to see what's wrong or leave them in peace? I think we should just leave him go. Jeb sits for a while and watches the peaceful herbivores relax in the water. He continues still on this trek. Jeb couldn't help but feel sad. He wonders if there was a way to help the poor injured creature. Well, maybe I was wrong. Oh, yes, I love her. Uh, time to go Leave him alone! <laughs> You're Mariah crying. Okay, where are we at now? Ooh. Allie, I would like you to harvest these. Where are we at? What are we doing here? Already got some avocados, but I guess we could harvest some more avocados. Is this it? Huh. Kind of hoping there'd be more. That's where he just came from. I don't see what much else to see, do here. Josie! Ah, uh, you guys make me save too much. <laughs> but I guess it's for the best, right? I think this is it. No. Oh, no, I was wrong. Well, how do I get there? It's got to be another place to go through, right? If, can I, can I, can I say I want to go over here? No. Where am I at? Don't understand. We can't. I think this is an ending spot over here because I don't know if there's anything else to do. All right, but we need to go back to our lodging 
because we have to get Jeb an antidote if we can, because he's only got like five hours left. <laughs> so we need to go back. <laughs> All right, Jebby boy, we need to go talk to some islanders. We need to find antidote or you're going to keel over here. And I don't think Allie really wants that right now. So I guess let's go help you live. I don't know if we have to go here or anything. Where's that? Where's the... Here, right? I don't see any... I don't see any antidote! Of sorts. How do I get the antidote? Order, order food. Do I, can I ask about the culture? Can I get to know? I don't even think she remembers she has a dog. Look, I know, he's back here chilling. Or I mean, Kelly, is Kelly a guy or a girl? Kelly, are you a man or a lady? You are a female. You never know, Kelly could be a guy name. If you have 1,000, you can head to a computer, for example, at the Alma Museum of Archaeology in El Salvador and use the menu to bone, um, to find buy antidote for 1K simoleons. Oh, we have just 1K. If you find ancient bone dust while exploring, it may be found in a dig pile or inside a treasure chest. Did we find bone dust? I don't think we did, so I think we're gonna have to go to that museum. The Museum of Archaeology. <laughs> You're a girl dragon. <laughs> Justice for Kelly. Kelly is fine! <laughs> Kelly is living her life. She is fine. All right, it's freaking Jeb making me spend money. Hello, small child and later hosens. Hey, get off that computer. I need that. <laughs> get who are you? John, darling. Well, get off the computer. Who lives? How, oh, I don't even have enough, enough money to pay my bills. I need to order. Purchase gifts, purchase medicine. Not that kind of medicine. More. Order. Garlic. Seeds. Oversized crop. Fireworks. Purchase medicine. Purchase gifts. Browse. Plopsy. Marbles. Holidays. Create earbuds. Dyes. Books. Rodents. Wedding cake. What? <laughs> um. Buy antidote. Mm. Ah, there it is. Found it. There's your stupid antidote. Uh -huh. Look at all these tourists. I love this. Oh. May Prescott keeps following me. Oh. Does anyone know about El Salvadorian culture? View the collection. I would like to get a El Salvadorian culture. I keep saying it wrong. I know I do. <gasps> Chloe! Hi, Chloe! Nice to see you, sweetheart. You're looking well. Wilma Zamonasera. Oh my gosh, look at all the tourists coming in. This is too funny. Why are they all have fanny packs and hats? Oh my gosh, I never noticed if you go to the... Oh my god, and they're all wearing socks and sandals. No, stop. 
<laughs> oh, Jeb, how about you eat the antidote? How much time do we have left till your death? Three hours. How about you? How about you have that antidote there, buddy? You cured? All right, yeah. Let's not do this again. How about? All right. Are we all good now? We are no longer on the verge of death. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. And I think this is our last day on vacation, so let's head back to the lodging as well. Thank you for that. Oh my gosh, y'all are killing me. Everything seems to be going well. Oh, perfect. Who is this? <laughs> Why is there an alien child just here? Hello, alien child. Why are you here, Sybil? If anybody recognizes this character, let me know. She's very niche. Don't steal children. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let me go take a pregnancy test because I've got to see. After all that attempts, did we? She is pregnant! <laughs> Yay! Yes. I'm so happy right now. Let's see, a dirt world frog. Let's breed with tiger frog. Dang it. I want to try and get a new frog. Hi, Kelly. Oh, Kelly, do you not like the radio? I turned it off, Kelly. Don't you worry. The radio's off. See, I care about the dog. <laughs> oh, Kelly's okay. You know what, Kelly? We're gonna have to welcome you to the family. She needs a toy and a bed. I will get those things when we go home. I'm not buying them for here. All right, Kelly. Kelly, you're so cute, by the way. Has anybody told you how cute you are, Kelly? You're a beautiful puppy. Let's get you a collar. Oh, should Kelly have a bow? <laughs> just a, just a, a cute little bow. Oh my God, do I have to message them? Oh my goodness, Kelly. Let's see, what's a collar for Kelly? This would be a cute one. Oh, that looks beautiful on you. Oh, the turquoise, the turquoise is it. The turquoise is beautiful. All right, her every day will be that. And then let's get a little dress for Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Kelly, you're gorgeous, Kelly. Y'all, I love Kelly so much. This is her other outfit. Or, let's see, we have this one or that one. I just like this one. For when Kelly is feeling like she needs a whole new look. She is a gorgeous gal. Outfits. And for when Kelly feels all snuggly inside, we can put Kelly in a little, little whole outfit or maybe a dinosaur. Oh, Kelly. Kelly, you're amazing. <laughs> We'll get her this little teddy bear. I love it. And then we go on walkies. 
we will just have our little collar on. There. Kelly has options now. Or do I want that? Or do I want, like, a shirt? Do small dogs have just a shirt? Oh, Kelly. You're killing me, Smalls. You're beautiful. Oh, what a sweater. Oh, this is so Kelly. This just is this is Kelly's vibe. Oh, this is Kelly. Kelly, you look great, honey. A bandana? Oh, snap, Kelly. Kelly is a fashion icon. I tell you guys what. Kelly is style. Kelly is grace. And your sweater. There we go. Kelly is a fashion icon. If she wants to dress down, she can dress down. She wants to wear a little dress, she wears a dress. She wants a bandana, she's got a bandana. You got a onesie for when you're comfy cozy. And we got a sweater. This is Kelly. Kelly is amazing. <laughs> Playing that love kind of thick, eh? <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I think Kelly likes her little collars. Cute. Ninja. Huh. Are you telling Jeb that you're pregnant? Also, I told you guys this outfit would look adorable for maternity. Um take a look at this. Starting to sound like puppy fever and there's only one cure. <laughs> I told you guys this would be the most oh, adorable boy. little pregnancy outfit. And was I wrong? Look at this. Look at this belly in this. It's too cute. I love it. Do you even inform her that you're pregnant? I will be in his office. You're not be too late. Happy I'm a Paula Chopper. Deep thoughts. Tumbra's analyte. Oh. Swarce bucket soon. Apologize? Bratza, Why do you guys have to apologize for? Aw. <laughs> Ooh, now that we're married, let's ask about our chemistry together. Uh-huh. Hey, I wanted oh, to ask nice. about our chemistry. <laughs> Now that we're married, I want to see if the spark's still alive. Buster Boon, Wapatoon Rashim. Kelly, you good? Oh, somebody turned the radio back on. Sorry, Kelly. Radio off. Thinks maybe we're a match. Zanks. Oh, Ufa Yoba. Oh, Bally Grace, that is adorable. Oh. I think this is about the end of our vacation, though. Is there any more crystals out here to harvest before we go? We'll have to come back another day and really explore the rest of everything. Wow, who is this fashion icon? This is Nacho? Nacho heard about Kelly on the streets, and he said bet. <laughs> Nacho said, I'm the most fashion-forward cat that there has ever been. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, you're already knocked up. I hope they're more than maybe a match. Oh, my gosh. Nacho, you look great, kitty. I love, I love food names for pets. I think they're so funny. Like whenever like I hear somebody named their pet and they named it like Nacho or Nugget or Chicken Wing or so, just something stupid. I, it cracks me up. It is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> Others may feel differently, but I think. Um, biscuit, that's overused. No, not that one. <laughs> I don't like biscuit. It's too much. <laughs> I hear that one for dogs all the time. It's like naming your dog a biscuit, shadow, spot, 
uh, Bella, Luna. <gasps> I think we've talked about overused dog names before. I can't with some of them. I think on our last day of vacation, let's go to the bar. My dog's name is Tater. That's cute. Little getting close to the overused, but adorable still. My cat, or my mom had a cat named Scampy. Oh, that's cute. My dog's name is Titus. Cheese. Yes, cheese. The name cheese is so funny. Bean dip. <laughs> All right, I want to learn Sil Salvadorian culture still. Nubia. Who are you? I got some princes here today. Because I want her to dance, the Sil Salvadorian dance, and you can only learn it one way. By learning about the culture. You are a vampire. What are you doing out here? You, Rosalie Hale, are going to fry. You're gorgeous. <gasps> Look, guys, it's Roxanne McLovin! Oh, if you guys remember her, let me know. <laughs> Are you a native? You don't dress like you're a native. Oh my gosh, Jumba. I think you might be a... Bone Hilda. It's a cool internet. Yes, I have the skill! Where is the radio? I want to see if she'll do the dance, because I love the dance. It's somewhere here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I want to learn the dance style. Why did you just throw up? Why did you? Oh, you're drunk. Way to go. Sure, go ahead. Make friends. From the Sister Wife Challenge. I loved that challenge. It was really fun. <laughs> Ask about the jungle. There we go. I need to do this to learn about the culture a little bit. Friendly. Small talk. No interest. Chat about the local sites. Friendly. Small talk. No, sorry. Interest. Discuss local heritage. Friendly interest. Is there anything else I can talk to you about? Look at her move those. Wait, was she doing the dances? That's what I want. I want her to do those dance. I love it. Come on, do the dance. Do the cultural dance. Yeah, this! This one! I want this dance. But she's dancing. Oh, you are Zoe Huntington the third. I don't know you guys are married. Interesting. Oh. Rainbow Bright. Oh wait, I did just see her. Hi, Rainbow Bright! It's nice to see you too. Are you and Roxanne hanging out? Oh, she's drunk. Oh, okay. okay. Why are you sad? You've been hurt by somebody nearby? Oh, it sounds like that uh, relationship is going down a little bit, guys. I think he's starting to fall out of love for her. Already? Ugh. Is Roxanne a part of the culture? <gasps> she is. The more I talk about it, maybe the better chance I have. Princess Ice, thank you so much for the 23 months up. Almost two years. Almost two years, Princess Ice. That is so exciting. 
Princess Ice, it's, it's been an awesome almost two years with you, okay? I just want to let you know that, okay? I love you. You've been amazing the entire time I've been a streamer. I don't know. Princess Ice, I will never forget you, okay? I can now do a El Salvadorian introduction. Friendly. Yes, I need to do it. Jeff has begun to understand the Celtic. He will be able to ask the local sightings, find out more about the local heritage, find foods that will be strong, culturally under- Yeah, okay. But I want them to learn more about the culture enough for me to be able to- Oh, no, no. Enough for me to be able to dance. I love the dance. I'm just gonna keep asking about the culture until, uh... I keep learning more. At least until our time here runs out. Maybe I'll be able to finish it later. Because the more people I talk to about it, the better it is. I think I should try some of their food. Um, let me get the cheapest one because I don't have a lot of money. Go try some of their food. Look at Jack Frost get it! I want to dance like that! Let me dance like Jack Frost is dancing. That's all I want. Get it, Jack Frost. You are amazing, baby. I want this dance. <laughs> I love it. All right, hurry up, go eat some food. Who is this? Is this Charles Muntz from Up? He would be at the jungle working. Oh my God, that's so fitting. All right, eat the food. Hopefully this gives me a lot of cultural influence. I'm at the bar right too now watching people. It's so fun. I love, I always have to visit this bar whenever I go to the jungle. It's very cute. And now we gotta get a drink. Um, we got the herbal tea. Back off, you guys. I'm ordering first. Who is this? James Rogers. He's handsome. You are the dancing queen. Is that Clement Frost? It is Clement. You know what? What does Santa do when he goes on vacation? He uh, he becomes a tourist and he goes to the jungle. That's what he does in his off seasons, I guess. Which is really funny. <laughs> what is this? Oh, we need to get a toy. Go purchase the doll. That way you can take it back with our baby. A grilled cheese ready to eat. You're in England, Florence Prince. Friendly. El Salvadorian introduction. <laughs> Try to take advantage of this wherever I can. <laughs> yes, tell me. Oh, I lied. I don't want to talk to you. You don't know anything. Friendly. You. I like how I'm not even doing the rags to the riches right now. Literally, I've just spent my entire time on our honeymoon. But you know what? I've had so much fun with it. It's nice just playing the game. Not having anything necessary. Like, I don't know. There's something about this Rags to Riches challenge that just feels so free. Like, I can do what I want, but where you have goals at the same time. And it's just, it's nice. I like it. Come on, we're so close to level three. Yes. Okay, Ali has started to perfect that local uh, salutation and has developed a taste for the local food. Ali has unlocked new Latin guitar songs. Oh, I don't care about that. I want... To know things. I wanted to dance. I think that takes longer. I didn't know we had goals. We have goals. We have goals. Look at these goals. Look at look at these goals. We've got frogs to get. We've got medals to find. We have two more medals I still want to find. I have one more crystal I have to get. 
I can find some more fossils. I have two aliens to find still. And I have... My, one more My Sim trophy that I want to find. Those are the collections I'm working on, and I'm working very hard on them. Is this vacation over yet? Vacation is ending. Only four hours left? That's it. Stretch. Well, I'm going to try and get whatever skills I can before we have to go. That way, next time we come, maybe once our child's born, we can take them to where they were created huh? <laughs> where they were consummated uh, and uh show them off this part of their culture oh, big bad wolf you were so handsome let's see Interacting with local vendors. Look at them haggling over here. Wow, interesting, fascinating stuff. How's our husband over here doing? You aren't uh, being bad, are you? <gasps> he was flirty. Why were you flirty? Yeah, we're outgoing. Okay, he hasn't cheated on us yet, but he's being flirty over here for some mysterious reason. Oh my god, it's Bruno! We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno! Hey, it's me! <laughs> it's me! Hi, me, why are we sad? Orbitani. <laughs> Oh, it's like looking at a mirror, you know? Hey, it's Carl from Up! Oh, is he here visiting Ellie? Carl, it's nice to see you! Got Jumba. We got Seth Clearwater. Oh, hello, handsome. Who are you? Roy Gray. Oh, he is... He is very attractive. Hmm. She wanted to talk to Bruno. We conceived because we thought Daddy was the dead man. <laughs> oh no. It's fine, he lived. And that's all that matters, right? I guess when we get home, we'll have to start working on a nursery and stuff. Oh, wait, no. No, I lied. Don't go back to lodging. Don't go back to lodging. We're literally gonna get kicked out here in, like, two seconds. Is there anything else that I can do real quick? Anything? <gasps> oh! Crystal! Hurry! Before we get kicked out! Go, 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 go. I don't know when those four hours are up, but... Eh, I got a feeling it's soon. Okay, we got another crystal. And another fossil. Anything else? Any other spots to quickly run and grab a crystal? That I just now noticed there was locations for around here? Probably not anymore. Oh, look at this big puppy! Oh, the Franklin, you're so cute! Too bad I already picked up a dog. Kelly is tense. Can we take some of daddy's money to make a nursery? No, we're not going to. Look at this old man. Dan England. Gorgeous guy. All right. I think... When does this vacation end? I thought we were going to... Yeah, there it is. Okay. End vacation. We're good. Gene, I'll fight you, okay? We are on vacation, okay? Kelly was a stray. Kelly should be darn thankful, okay? Kelly should be darn thankful for us right now. They'd be still on the streets if it wasn't for us. Oh, hello! It's, oh, it's Jade! Friendly introduction to you. 
I would love to be your friend. From one jewelry maker to the next. Yeah, though. All right, let's buy stuff for my neglected dog, Kelly. Wow, it's already in the pet section, it knew. All right, Kelly. Everybody says that I'm ignoring you. I'm not, I'm gonna get you an automatic feeding bowl. So I can't. <laughs> Here we go. Scoot that door just a tad. Alright, I got a food bowl. And I don't think the dogs need a bed, but I know you guys will say I'm neglecting him if if I don't get Kelly a bed. So a bed in front of the window, maybe, with good views. Yes, Kelly. All right, food, bed, toys, before you guys say I'm neglecting her. Oh, jeez. Here you go. A toy box for Kelly. I'll make sure that she's got a couple good toys. A nice ball. Ugh, of course it won't let me change the color after I put it down. Ah, that one. That's cute. Does it matter? No. But yes. There. And... Doesn't need a cat scratching post. Well, I think that's good enough for Kelly, but I will do one more thing. So none of you yell at me. But if I can, I'll get it. Ugh, why is it so ugly? There. A doggy door also for Kelly. And I'm saving. Experiment. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and fill this bowl real quick. Oh, apparently we're not gonna like Jade. Okay. All right, can I? Real quick, I'm gonna teach Kelly how to go potty outside. Friendly. That's, no, I'm not gonna give Kelly a treat. That's five dollars. That's five dollars of wasted money. So let me go ahead and pet care. Ask to go potty. Real quick. Now go to bed. <laughs> Oh, look at Kelly using her bed. I was wondering if she was actually going to use it. It's kind of nice to know she's actually using it. I kind of want this light to be auto light. You know, we'll do this room as an auto light too because there's literally nothing in this room to light up at all times. So, oh my gosh, I have to put my crystal up. Okay. This is one of the new rare crystals that we got. And this is one of the new rare crystals that we got. And this is one of the new, oh my God. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Okay, but that's three new ones. And that kind of ruins up, that, that kind of ruins my thing that I had going on. I don't like that necessarily 
<laughs> oh, get it, sweetheart. Also, look at that baby bump. So cute. Aww. So listen to all these crystals sparkle when you get closer. When do we go back to work? Oh my god, we go back to work in two hours. Well, ain't no sleep for the week. Also, when we go to work, we have to make sure that we're going with um, with Allie and not with Jeb. So I have to look out for that. Because they both go to work, I think, at the same time. Yeah, they do. Why are you crying, Jeb? Um, care to join them? Jeb, so send Jeb alone, join Allie. Ain't no sleep for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. And ain't nothing in this world for free. <laughs> I used to listen to that song on repeat when I played Red Dead Redemption 1 in the basement of my parents' house when I was severely a young child. <laughs> I would listen to that song while playing Red Dead Redemption 1. I would also listen to, what was the other one? Oh, Piano Man, play me a song, you're a piano man. Play me a song tonight. And you're in the mood for a melody. Are you kidding me? And you got us feeling all right. La di di da, li di da. La 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 la. Yes, I love the Red Dead Redemption games. I used to play Red Dead. I played Red Dead Redemption 2 on stream with you guys before. It was so fun. I have heard them teasing a Red Dead Redemption 3. Um, I doubt it will come out for years. I think that's the sound of a new one. All right, we're going home. 13 bucks. Wow, look at us. Beautiful. <laughs> I love Red Dead Redemption. Um, if Red Dead Redemption 3 comes out, just know whatever I'm playing at the time, I will be dropping to play Red Dead Redemption 3 on stream with you guys. Um, and also I'll be playing it by myself, probably, because I'll want to play that game all the time and I won't be able to stream it all the time. All right, let's go harvest all our crystals from our beautiful crystal tree. You didn't even look for the last crystal. I... I don't know about that one. <gasps> Guys! Okay, I got another blue slug, but I got a life porcupine! Look at him! Look at him! We got the porcupine! Alright, what are we naming this guy, guys? Look at him! Alright, we don't get to see his very open mouth, but he's so cute! This is our life porcupine! We got our blue slug, our pink whale, and our red coral. Spike pin Gus Spike. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, what was the other name? That we were gonna use? <gasps> Willie! His name is Willie. No, do I wanna name him Willie or do I wanna name the squid Willie? I think I'll name the squid Willie. Whenever we find the squid, his name will be Willie. Um, let's call this guy. Ooh, Charlie, Larry, Spike. Spike is so generic. Spike is great. You guys would. You're not creative at all. <laughs> Prickle? Prickle! Liz Geller, you win. Prickles it is. Now see, that's some creativity. Prickles. This is Prickles. <laughs> Mr. Prickles. <laughs> Now that's the kind of creativity I'm looking for. Mohawk also was a good name, Lady Raidacord, but can't breathe, can't beat Sprickles. <laughs> I like Prickles. It sounds a little phallic, but it's still nice. And I have a live blue slug to sell. Oh my gosh, guys, I, I need to make some jewelry. 
fast. All right, let me... I've got more frogs to breed. Have I bred a new frog? Dirt whirl frog. Do we have a dirt whirl? I think that's new. Nice. No, it's not new. Ugh. All right, well, let's go ahead and make some jewelry because we need money. Design jewelry. Let's cut a gemstone. I need an expensive one of these guys. I don't have any more plumbite. That's my most expensive thing. Unless I can use jet. Let's make some out of jet because that's the oh I don't have enough money. No. Okay, we need to do a yard sale right now. I need some sort of cash. I'm desperate for cash right now. I can't even make our jewelry. <laughs> Um, tend the table. Come in. Markup prices, a hundred percent of the price. Start their yard sale. I need money. Come buy my slugs and frog. Please and thank you. Judith Wart, dang it. Olive, buy something today. Please. Oh, Kelly. Kelly, thank you for helping us sell things, Kelly. You're the perfect little sidekick for this thank you kelly you bring in puppy cuteness no actually kelly's sex appeal kelly is <laughs> kelly's the sex appeal all right hold on let me i've got more things i got relics i've got relics i just got back from vacation i got a whole bunch of weird stuff i can sell look at all this stuff i could sell Amazing stuff here. I didn't use half of this. I'm willing to sell it. Kind of want to keep the death relic just because it's ominous and I don't know much about it. Don't sell the relics until you clean them off because they're worth money. Oh, I didn't realize I had to clean them. Ugh. I lied. I don't want to sell that. I don't want to sell this. And I, and I don't want to sell that. Olive, if this is the moment you buy it, don't you dare. No. I lied. Prezo Vizi. Barpasa Compol. Clear the table. So what would I okay. It's mine. <laughs> Alright. Now I can put this stuff back up here to sell. Okay. All of those are back up. Place them over. How do I clean them up? I'm sure there's a way. Do I need the archaeology table? Oh, no, boy. Oh, 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 I can send them away. Uh, oh, Do I want to send them away? All right, buy my things, people. Make me money. I need the table. How expensive is the table? Jed, thanks for bringing home money today, bud. You're awesome. Filter packs, jungle adventures. Activities and skills, archeology span $300? Ugh, fine. It's going in here. Oh no, it's got the green carpet that always shows. I don't like that. 
No, I hate the green carpet. It's ugly. Ew. Anyone buying anything? I kind of need people to buy stuff. And saving because I made a purchase. Holy grandma! Grandma's packing. Holy crap! Buy something! I'm begging! Is it because the prices are 100%? Ugh, well, that's all I can do for now. Alright. Archaeology table. Got it. Now, what do I do? I put this here. Did y'all just waste my money? Did y'all just waste my money? I can't do anything! But put it in my inventory. I will fight you all. Right now. Y'all just wasted my money. Send away for authenticity. Huh. <clears throat> Or taking it outside because it should work. Alright, outside. Nothing. 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 Nothing! I can't do anything with it. Alright, our husband has another relic. Oh. I don't know what this one is, but he's got a good one. Fuse with. Oh. Wow. Here's we both had something special. Holy guacamole! Insert crystal. I need a refined. Allie needs a refined crystal in her inventory to refuse with this. How do I refine a crystal? Send to jewelers for refinement. Oh, okay, that's how. Send to jewelers for refinement. All right, I will refine this crystal. Expect a refined version of your crystal to appear in the mail in the next day or so. Okay. All right, let's collect this really terrifying gnome. All right. I'm just going to sell the rest of these myself. Because I don't have time. Would it be nice to sell some of these for... Oh, actually, I'm going to leave that one on the table. Would it be nice to sell some more of these for, like, double the money? Yes, but I don't have time or care or patience. I need to make... New gems. To sell. With the most expensive things I have. Maybe her skill isn't hot high enough. Well, how do I get the skill if I don't if I can't even use the table? Archaeology. Some sins are driven by the search for knowledge and treasures of lost time. Spending a little bit of time in the dirt can be very rewarding. Archaeology skill is built by digging up, authenticating, and studying ancient artifacts. Increase this skill unlocks new interactions at the archaeology table. So, apparently I don't have that kind of skill yet. But I can't just stare at my stuff, so I don't know what to do there. I guess I could get an archaeology book, but that costs money! Money! I 
I don't have. Let's go sell some of these. Ooh. Ooh. I lied. Let's have her eat first. She's super hungry. Oh, I lied. Hold on. Before you do that, I think puppy's got to go potty. Go potty, buddy. Hopefully hopefully they pick this up so I don't have to keep telling them to do it every day Jeb if you could clean up at all that'd be great why is he so sad guys I think Jeb's falling out of love with us I'm not gonna lie I don't know if things are gonna work with Jeb you know what I don't think they are gonna work Hey guys, you know what? I'm feeling generous. I don't feel like I have done enough. I just think I would like some more drama here today. I feel like we don't ever get enough drama. I feel like, you know, a lot of the time I do these perfect cookie cutter little families and you know what? I don't think it's gonna work like that today. I think we're gonna start falling out of love. So That's what I think is going to happen. Send a cable into Grinia. Huh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have a difficult de relationship, what? I'd say. But you, me. Hey, you. Big compa. Your Bebo. Jamal. <laughs> Thanks for the sperm. Now get up. I should have left him in the jungle. Oh my goodness. Insult face. Ah, Mr. Jungle. <laughs> and we lost power. Great. I think we're going to blame him for that. He can't make any money in this house. Drain him, Dubma. In fallingness, Wabarani Bayumi squirmish. Oh, for no. No, not Jeff. Sigura Quinarb, the flowers are. How you doing, Kelly? You good over here? Don't worry about us. We're fine. For real, bill him for that antidote plus emotional distress, right? I mean, he did. <laughs> Guys, I don't have any bills. Okay, I need to go sell things at the table really bad. All good? Um, you know, guys, if I get... Agronol. 10 subs in the next half hour. I will stream for an extra half hour tonight. How about that? It's been a minute since I pulled overdrive and I just got the okay from Max that we are good and that the, the laundry room is okay. So if you guys want me to stream for an extra half hour, 10 more gifted subs and I'll do that. The work in the same place, yes, but she does not work. <laughs> We do, but hey, but this is our real job, okay? This is what we do. Babu Morvi. Yibs Alpness. Buy my things. Thank you. <laughs> I'd really like to sell my other things. Yes, okay, good. I got the two big things out here. <laughs> anonymous Bella, thank you. Or er, Anonymous, thank you so much for getting us up to Bella. Thank you, honey. Next One genie long room. <laughs> You're so sweet of in a marvelous if that's sarcastic. <laughs> she uses the science career for her real job, basically. Please buy things, people. Sure. You did not just harvest our crystals. <gasps> did you just steal my crystals? 
No, you didn't. Okay. Well, good. No, don't. We're, we're not getting along. Don't stock the table again. Start that yard sale. Princess Ice, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Thank you, Princess. I appreciate that. Thank you, Princess. Oh, you guys are so sweet. All right, only four more subs. Oh, I lied. <laughs> Manders, thank you so much for those other five subs. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stream for an extra half hour tonight, okay? I hope that's all right with you guys. Um, if you received a gift and sub from Manders or Princess Eyes or Anonymous, thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate it. Somebody please buy the expensive things on the table. Please, I have I'm pregnant. <gasps> thank you. Oh, whoever did that, thank you. Thank you. Please. I have one more expensive, expensive thing on this table. Please buy it. The berries are sweet that I'm glad you're buying them, but thank you, please. Manders, thank you so much for getting one more sub. Thank you. <laughs> Princess and Manners always are through the west to the rescue. I know they're amazing. I had to add one more sub. The odd number was killing me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Maybe somebody should uh, gift one more sub so it's back at an odd number. So Manders loses her mind. <laughs> Stop talking with Jeb. We don't like him. I'm trying to create drama, and y'all are being too nice to each other. Always down for more, Mandy. <laughs> please buy the other expensive item, please, and thank you. Please. Uh, please. You guys are breaking my heart if you don't buy the black heart on the table. Please buy the black heart. Please. Please and thank you. Why did it sound like she just said the B word? <clears throat> oh. Now she's too uncomfortable. I can't even do it. Oh, Steve! Go pee. Hurry up. Be your pregnant lady self. I don't miss that. You should make the blue heart from Titanic. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Oh, her belly looks so cute in that. Come as a bee. <laughs> they are bro. Slightly, but we need stuff for the baby. I have to get a nursery set up still. I'm not gonna buy a bassinet. But I feel like we should have a little bit of money saved up. Are we missing work? No. Okay, it scared me for a second. Cause I'd like to go to work so I can get more aliens. I only have one more alien I have to find left. Jenny, thank you so much for that sub. Thank you so much, Jenny. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Jenny. Ooh, brings us to 315. I'm going to go ahead and use this money to make a couple more of the expensive... Guys, to help me sell. And maybe I'll make a uh, sapphire heart for you guys. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! <gasps> Oh. 
Jeb cheated on us with Father Winter. Jeb, why? I know we haven't been getting along, but like, Father Winter? He did it while we were sleeping too, like I wouldn't know. Oh, she's steaming mad. Divorce. Divorce. Well, I guess after we make some gems. No, I don't want this to affect my gemstone. Divorce. Look at it. Look at him. Look at exactly what you just did. How could you do this to us? We're about to have your baby. And you'd go and cheat on me? I know we argued. Nope, we're not going to switch that. Non-committal, maybe. Maybe. We'll go through a non-committal phase. Oh. And on our first family <laughs> Christmas together? Are you serious? Oh. Can't believe you just did this to me. Really? Oh. I'm not even gonna be sad about this uh, either. Jewel, jewel. I'm move right on with my life. Oberoi. Janelle. Zarzuya, Can't believe you. Go finish that gemstone. Jeb, we're kicking you out of my house, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm just curious. Okay, it looked like there was nothing underneath, but it's safe. Yeah. You can be sad about it. You can. Oh my god, I have bills to pay. Jeb, go pay the bills so I can have power back. That's all my money! Oh, that's all of my money to pay my bills. Are you kidding me? Okay, well I got my refined gem back. I'm selling that. Uh, take off your wedding ring. Take off that wedding ring and give it back to me because we are selling that. Take this marriage certificate, get rid of it. Sell your stupid avocado and put my book back away. Sue, father winter for emotional damage. We need that child support. That's right. They should both die in a horrible skiing accident. Kay! Oh my goodness. Wow, brutal. All right. Put this in my inventory. All right, you guys want me to make a sapphire heart. So I will do that. Oh, nope, nope, not that. Sapphire. And then we'll go sell things in the table. I like, then we'll go eat and then sell things in the table because she is starving. No, I'm gonna cook something basic because we don't have the money for this. We'll make some grilled cheese because they're pretty cheap. Should have left him in the jungle. I know, we should have just let him go. All right, there is your guys' blue sapphire, your heart of the sea. Seems a lot take longer to burn out. And they will gain a mental skill faster with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> How you doing, Kelly? You're staying with us. We get you in the custody agreement, by the way. Some would say that's a bad thing. I think you're uh, living up right now. I, I think Jim's a bub. He's going to go back and live with his parents. He leaves dirty dishes all over the place, too. You ain't gonna get none of these grilled cheese, even my grilled cheese. All 
Oh my gosh, the baby is literally hitting the counter that our belly is so big. I need to mark this sink as a kitchen sink, by the way. Sink set type kitchen. Set sink type bathroom. There, hopefully she should always use the right ones then. Why don't my sims gather up all the dishes anymore? In the past, they would like just gather them all up and do them all at the same time. I don't think she knows how to do that right now. And we have work in six hours. All right. Actually, I lied. Hold on. I need to put these things that I want to sell first in. That way I have a better chance of... Oh, insert the crystal! Ah. Well, now what do I do with it? Activate on? Oh. What happens with that? Activate on self. What does it do? So here's the thing. I don't want Jeb to die because I want child support. <laughs> now use the totem on Jeb. I don't want him to die though. <laughs> you know, I could use this on Wooster though. <laughs> Wooster is constantly standing here and I'm kind of really annoyed by it. Activate on Wooster Piggins. Sabron. Alias the cursed Wooster Piggins, marking them for death. It'll be, it'll be a matter Gosh. of time. Oh! Yeah. Well, Wooster is always in front of my house. He's ruining my business, so that's really just why. All right, let's try and sell what I can real quick this morning before work. Hopefully I can get one of these out. Well, that was quick. We'll see if he actually does go though. Yes! Someone bought the freaking gnome right away. Good. I have some money back in my pocket. Please buy the rest. Please and thank you. Panda Girl, thank you so much for that 20 month resub! Hello, what's new? Nothing really. We're just kicking it. I guess a pipe did explode in my uh, laundry room today. <laughs> Other than that, though, I think we're fine. Uh, oh, God, the baby's coming. I don't want to pay for a crib. Dang it. I guess Jeb's going to have to go to work, and we're going to follow Jeb, and he's going to have to be... No, I don't want him to be the one that gathers the Chris or the alien, though. Allie, you're going to work with the baby, just so you know. Send a Jeb alone. Oh. Allie, before you give birth, <laughs> we need to go find an alien. We have priorities here, okay? We have priorities. Uh, <laughs> I want to see if we can get this alien today. Because we have one more to find. I need a live squid. All right, real quick. Please. No. I want all three areas to be open. I get the most chances. All right, one, please be open. At least two. All right, the odds are not looking like they're in our favor, guys. I got two out of the hole, two holes closed out of three. But which one's open? <laughs> Uh, it doesn't sound like I found the one I wanted. Nope, I got another dead red coral. All right, we're heading home. She needs to leave work early. She's having a baby. But it's not Willie. We got another stupid dead red coral. Ooh. Michelle, my bell says a new death type for the 100 ghost challenge. Actually, that is...
That's not a terrible idea. But I'll need somebody to remind me about it. Because I will totally forget before then. Um, dang it. I was hoping for a new frog, but I guess not. Alright. Go to sleep until... Hey, didn't you go to work? We're supposed to be making money! Go to work! Oh, hate him. Get out of my house. Fucking save, leave, Josie! Actually, I'll let you meet the kid and then I leave. Alright, y'all are yelling at me to save again! Save me. Alright, baby's coming, finally! Oh good, I was hoping to get this bassinet. Alright guys, I hope you're ready to name this baby! It's a boy! All right, guys. Oh, excuse me. No, this kid's name is Valley. We're going back to our maiden name. His name is Valley. What's his name, guys? Any boy names in the chat? I'll take five of my favorite suggestions, and then I'll be using a poll over on Twitch to decide the name. So, boy names. No, we're not using Willie. That's going to be for our squid. <laughs> five of. I'll take five of my favorite boy names from the chat, and then Twitch chat will pick from those five, and that'll be the boy's name. Oh. oh, that's cute. Never seen that one before. I always get a lot of the same boy names, so it's nice to see some uh, some different. All right, one more name. All right, I have picked my five favorite name suggestions. The name suggestions are Pike, Bobby, Asher, Jasper, or Rush. Uh, Jasper is like, you know, the stone, which is kind of cute, um, especially since she's so into crystals and nature and stuff. Uh, I think the name Rush sounds so cool and interesting. Asher, honestly, I considered the name Asher as well um, when I was trying to decide what I was going to name my next son. Or my next son. What I was going to name Ryder. Asher was on my list of baby names. Um, but I'm scared that people would call him, you know, a bad word. <laughs> I try not to curse on my channel. I do say bad words outside of my channel. But I try and keep my... Um, chat uh or well at least i try and keep myself as family friendly as possible i don't play for younger kids but i definitely like i'm a pg-13 plus channel <laughs> and you guys have picked jasper which i'm very happy about that's a very cute name jasper valley which is awesome it sounds adorable yeah. oh. and we had it and then you guys know me, I always gotta age him up to an infant right away. Because I cannot. Alright, let's give him a good feed first. Rock him, and then we will age him up. Oh, What's wrong with Kelly? Kelly is hungry. You have a bowl! Okay, there. Eat it. Thank you. One, two, two, three. Cautious. <gasps> Jasper is so cute! Oh my god, I love him! Oh my god, he's got a cute little man bun! He's so cute. I love him.
love the man bun, oddly enough, on him. It's so adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, first off, one. I need to turn on this light. Um, so I can see the nursery, so I can start designing it. I'm gonna try not to age him up super fast. No changes needed. I don't think so either. I think he is perfect the way he is. All right, let's go ahead and get, I'm gonna try and set this up as cheaply as possible. I mean, I think he deserves more than that though. Here we go. Cute little crib. We'll put it in the corner of his room. There we go. Oh. Actually, I like the first swatch still better. All right, let's get a decoration. A nice little rug, how about? Should I do? I want a big cute rug like this, but I want it to like also actually be cute. I want it to be slightly bigger than that. It's just too small. But if I size it up one, it's gonna be like massive and that's what I don't want. Like I want, yeah, something like that. I want that kind of size. But I want his room to be more colorful. I might not be able to win on this one. I might have to do a basic rug. Maybe I spice up the curtains a little bit if I could? No, of course not. It doesn't have any good splotches. Oh, I can do that one's cute. I kind of like that. Adds a little color. It's cute. I like it. Go with that one. <laughs> Child support is not going to be that much. We can hope and pray, okay? Ooh, that's nice too. <gasps> oh, I like that rug. More than this one. I love the yellow. It's a very beautiful cop. All right, back to kids. Um, is there anything else I want? I don't want his room to be like too overdone yet because like we don't have a lot of money for that, but. Oh, gotta get him this little stuffed animal. It's cute. I don't put drawings up because I don't want to feel like he's been, like he hasn't drawn anything yet, so. Two stuffed animals. Is it necessary? No, am I doing it anyways? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys know me, I'm a fiend for dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. It, can I find any other din- Oh, they got- can I find any other stuff for dinosaurs, please? Maybe this? Be cute, but it's not quite what I need here. <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh, I love a grow with me. There we go. Any more dinosaur art? Ah! Oh! Dang it, I wish I had a better window! 
He's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Hmm. I'm not seeing any more dinosaur art. Which is a shame. I do see a big dinosaur. I think if I'm gonna get anything, I'm going to get the big dinosaur plush. Yes, this. There we go. All right, anything else? I feel like I really need for his room. I'm trying not to go too hard in his room, but I still want him to have some cute stuff. Here, a toy box. There we go. And blocks. I gotta get him a chimera. No, I have to get him the playable size. I think we're good. Right? We're good. This is enough stuff for him, I think. He'll be okay. Um, child potty? Ah, I lied. I need this too. We're really pulling bookshelf. <laughs> and a little monster toilet and potty. And then I should get appliances. A. Oh, I don't even think I have a regular trash can. <laughs> there. Trash can. And I think I need a, a trash can for myself, actually. All right, that looks good for me. I don't want the trash can that makes money because if you don't have a household that's over XYZ amount, it's it's not even worth it. All right, let's take a closer look at Jasper. <laughs> Jasper! Honestly, I love his fit. I really do. Oh my gosh, yes. Is there one about crystals? By chance? Oh, there's one with a turnip. I'm a veggie monster. <laughs> That is so cute! Oh, we got one with space. Do we have any crystals? I know it's a long shot, but wouldn't that be just perfect? Anything about stones? I sincerely doubt it, but... Oh my gosh, it's got that little cat. Oh, I love that space one. I mean, rocks. Rocks come from space. Look at that one. I like it. I think it's cute. Give him some nice colorful shoes. I'm keeping the man bun. I think the man bun is a total vibe. I adore it. I love it. We're keeping it. No ifs, ands, or buts allowed. Alright, his sleepboard. Oh, his sleepboard's not bad, but I want something cuter. Ugh, dinosaurs. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. 
with like little yellow socks. We have like mustard yellow socks or, or green or orange socks, but they gotta be like saturated in color. That could work, but I want it so much closer. Actually, these orange socks will work. Oh, adorable. Whatever that is. Oh, little hoodie! Oh. oh my gosh, it's so cute! I'm gonna pass away! Y'all, I love babies. I don't know if y'all know that about me, but I adore my babies. Oh my gosh, he's so cute! I love him! I love him! What's that? This, these were the shirts that we were looking at earlier. Let's do that. And these little shorts. And I hate how he keeps flopping over. I hate how they do that. The animation takes too long and I go way too fast. And his cold weather. <laughs> Which really doesn't have to be anything special, but you guys know me, I'm picky. And I'm gonna go try and go slow on his age up process. So I do care to change all his stuff. Because I'm gonna try and spend time with him. These are all so cute. I do like this jacket especially though. I'll give him that, yeah. With some jeans and some cute little shoes. Alright, there he is, guys. Here is our little guy. He is freaking adorable. I love him so much. It hurts. He is seriously perfect. I love him. So will he be a child by the end of next week? Most likely. <laughs> Manders, I just saved a Taylor Swift hair to my Pinterest not that long ago. I saw somebody made a Taylor Swift hair and there's a Taylor Swift like outfit that I think I saved to my Pinterest as well. There's a bunch of Taylor Swift CC like you don't need my help to find it, but there is a ton I know for sure of Taylor Swift stuff. Like I like Taylor Swift. I wouldn't say like I'm like her biggest fan in the world, but like I like her. Um, I've never gone to a concert or like tried to go to a concert or anything like that, but I like Taylor Swift. I've never been like a big celebrity person. Um, all right, I'm gonna let dad go meet his baby, but then I'm kicking dad out of the family so he can start paying child support. From Carl Musti. Say hi to your kid, give him a hug and then leave. Or not. Um, some command center. Uh, apparently he's not gonna do anything. He's just gonna look at him and I don't have time. Maintain sim, move sim, other household. Go live with your parents. Yeah. Go live back home with your mom and dad. Maybe we'll do a custody thing where we, like, switch Jasper to his dad's house every now and then. Like, maybe he goes and stays with dad for the weekend. I think that would be really cute to try and do something like that, where he like goes and lives with each parent part time. So some weeks we don't have him at home with us. I think that would be really cute. Like maybe when he becomes a like a kid, we'll start that. I think for now he'll probably end up being with. Oh, we just broke something. Hurry, repair it. No, you gotta go back and repair it before it wastes a bunch of water, and then I get a really high bill.
Bernard. Oh, do you love him, Kelly? I love him too. I wish we could, you know, it'd be cute. Okay, I know we're strapped for cash and stuff lately, but I kind of have an idea I want to do with Kelly and with baby boy. I think it'd be really fun, actually. With RPO, you can go to court and get custody arrangements. What's RPO? What's RPO? Do you mind telling me what RPO is? Because I've seen a mod about like a, a child custody thing, and I think it'd be really fun. I mean, in, in reality, it's not that fun, I know that. But like in The Sims, I just want, I've tried, I'm trying to play with different family dynamics because there's lots of different ways to have a family. And I think there's no wrong way to have a family. Families are beautiful as long as everybody, like, you know, as long as there's love, it's a family. Whether you're related, not related with your grandparents, two moms, two dads, one mom, one dad, um, guardians, whatever. It's fine. Also known as Woohoo Wellness. I have. <laughs> I have relationships and pregnancy overhaul. Is that that mod? Mental Relations to family, adoption, woo. Woo. Pregnancy and family, jealous and infidelity. Oh my God, that's right. I could do a surrogacy pregnancy. I forgot I had that mod on. <gasps> Decide on custody of child. Go to court over cut. <gasps> yes! Oh my god. Go to court over to custody decisions? Well, should I do that or should I decide custody decision? What's the options? That's so awesome! Custody and guardianship. Decide on the custody? Infant and toddlers cannot be left home alone. Okay, hire, send a daycare. I ain't hiring no nanny. Decide on the custody of Jasper. I have obtained custody of Jasper. Custody for Jasper has been decided. If he, want, if he was not in the correct household yet, he has now been moved. Oh. So what if I want part custody? Am I allowed to do that? Like if I want him to go with his dad sometime? <gasps> Call X to send child to visit? Funny. Oh my God, that's awesome. That is so cool. I love that. Also guys, let me know. Should we do a surrogacy thing? Also, I'm gonna buy a high chair cause I'm trying to be really cute about this. I'm trying to take things slow. Because I feel like in other challenges, I always speed through kids' aging. And you know what? This time, I want to take things slow. I want to do things right. And, you know, I just want to have fun with it. Because, you know, I feel like I always speed through everything. And sometimes I just want to take things slow. And do things. In a fun way. I don't want to buy a changing table. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to buy a changing table. I'll, I'll leave that one. I don't care about that one. Um, but I do want a high chair wherever they may be. I think this high chair will work. Well, I don't have an end table. It's information. We'll put it here. Yes. All right. It's, why are you at my house? Get out, you cheater. Why is my baby sad? 
from parent separation from being put down oh buh -buh. all right you've got to pee your diapy soon you're not too hungry let's go ahead and pick him up because that's what he wants <gasps> let's give him a bubble bath i think he'd like that why are you at my house oh, why is my things broken okay, i'm gonna have to replace that there we go Oh, Kelly! Uh, hi! Right, hold on, I'm gonna actually have to bat and pay Kelly. Is Kelly stinky? They look dirty. Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to give Kelly a bath. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should leave the key with Jeb. Because maybe he'll want to stop in and see his son every now and then. I just gave you a bath. There, thank you. Why is it why aren't you clean? I just bathed you. Easy. No. In a prep. Pep Sonic. Go. Give Kelly a bath again because for some reason Kelly's not clean still. Maybe it wasn't a long enough bath. Oh, and he decided to be a surrogate. More. Okay, now Kelly looks clean. Kelly in pregnancy. Register with an air agency of surrogacy. All right. So we'll have to wait on a call from them. But we should be getting a call from the surrogacy agency at some point now to go ahead and do that. Uh, pet care. To go potty. There. Go potty, Kelly. Oh, Kelly has learned how to go outside to pee now, so I shouldn't have to tell them any. Oh my God, Kelly, you're amazing. That's the first dog that's gone off my uh, porch to go pee and poop. They always pee right outside the door. Kelly, you are impressive. Way to go, Kelly. Just for that, I'm gonna plan a special day for us all tomorrow. Very sad. Why are we sad? <laughs> we got fired again! Oh no, we're gonna have to join that back though because I still need aliens. I still have aliens to get. We got our job back, but we can't go back for four days. Oh no, oh gosh, wake him up, put him in the crib. <laughs> oh baby Jasper! I'm so sorry, buddy! Oh my goodness. Put him to bed. I'm sorry, Jasper. God, I love his little onesie. Do not pick him back up. Okay, good. You're going to kiss him goodnight. That's sweet. Nighty-night. Ninety-nine. All right, we need to go sell things in the meantime. Actually, don't stock the table yet. Tend. Why are you mad? Oh yes. Okay, go sell things. We need money. Oh, I need to start the yard sale. Gosh darn it, I always do that. Someone please come buy things. What's up, Kelly? I know. Kelly, I know. Oh, oh Kelly! Yeah. Kelly, you can't bite the customers! <laughs> Kelly, why? Oh my goodness. Kelly, why would you do that? 
Can now no one's gonna them? buy our stuff. Can somebody please come buy my things? Please? I have a baby I need to take care of. Yes, thank you. Oh, they're buying berries though. Buy either my husband's wedding ring or two of my hearts. Please and thank you. Alright, crystals ready to harvest. Alright, I got one more person to buy something before then. Harvest that. Tend to the tables. Dock table. No, not stock table. Tend to the table. Start the yard sale. Please and thank you. Please buy any of these items. Please buy my hearts. <laughs> Please. The cabinets are CC. Sure, go make a friend. Oh, yes! They bought one of the hearts. They bought the heart of the ocean. Buy another heart. Buy the heart of death. <laughs> buy the black heart. Please, you bought the heart of the ocean, now buy the black heart. Or my husband's, or my ex, my ex's wedding. Yes, they sold my ex's wedding ring. <laughs> Please, buy the last one. Buy the last one. Please. Buy the last heart. I literally just, that's it. That's it. And then I'll leave. I'll be done for the day. Please buy that heart I made. Please buy my crystal heart. I am begging. Thank you! Alright. Now, I have a fun day. I have planned, okay? I have a fun day planned today. All right, guys, if I get 10 more subs, I will stream for another half hour. So that'll be an extra hour over tonight. So if I get 10 more subs in the next 15 minutes, I'll go ahead and stream for another extra half hour. Cause, Cause why not? Like I said, we haven't had a long night in a while. And I need to pull myself back up out of my bootstraps because we're down low right now. Let's go. Let's go walk around over here. Kelly and Jasper. I would so buy that heart. <laughs> buy our things, they shine. <laughs> wow, Kate, that's amazing. I don't know if I'd have the mental fortitude for that, but I bless those who can. All right, so baby care. Let's go ahead and put ca Jasper in a back carrier. And then let's go ahead and take Kelly on a walk. Oop, I don't need to call over Kelly. I want to take Kelly on a walk. Because y'all say I never do anything for my pets. Well, look at me now. I would like to take Kelly on a walk. Leash. Jasper, you were supposed to be on my back, not clinging to me. Thank you. All right. Now, how do we go on a walk? On a walk. On a long walk. There we go. Kelly is her favorite. <laughs> no problem, Marvelous. I hate how the dogs walk behind you, though. I miss in The Sims 3 when they would walk in front of you. I just liked that better. All right. My little friend. I would like to find you a friend. Oh. Isn't this the Opie? You're from Sil Salvador. Why are we just standing here? We're supposed to be on a walk. Thank you. Oh, Jasper fell asleep behind me. That's so cute. I mean, it's also weird because his hair is in my face. 
Oh my god, it's Scooby-Doo. What you digging up, Scooby-Doo? Oh, you going tonight? Night night, Scooby-Doo. I gotta find a proper little buddy for our Yorkie friend. <gasps> oh, look at this cat. Tofu, you're so cute. dog out today. Is that Yzma? That's totally Yzma. Oh, Mayor Whiskers! Nice to see you! So here's the thing. I, like, this is another bush that's in The Sims, but you can't use it. Taylor, thank you so much for the nine month resub! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Alright, I'm gonna let my Yorkie have a good time. Uh, unleash. Oh! Unleashing literally took Jasper off me! Aw, he had fallen asleep on me. Let's give him a bottle while we're at it. Pet care. No, no, no. Unleash, send home. Curious to what they'll do. Like, oh, are they gonna go? Since they're in heat, would they go find somebody by themselves? Because I'm so curious if Kelly would. So, Kelly, what are you doing, honey? <gasps> Is this a boy? Fabo. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold the phone. That is a cute, adorable little doggy. And I am curious. Oh, Kelly. Kelly, do you also see Fabo? Oh, I thought Kelly also saw Fabo. Excuse me. Uh, apparently, I have to put my baby down to do this. Hmm. Kelly! Where are you going? Friendly. <gasps> yes. Go, Kelly. Live your life. Apparently, I'm just going to leave my baby over there, though. <laughs> yeah, let's go back and get our baby. How about? Oh, Jasper just met Opie. <laughs> Oh, look at Jasper pulling himself up on the park bench. That is so cute. Where are you go- Oh! Oh my gosh, my dog! My dog! Kelly! Oh my god, Kelly, you are freaking me out. Please stop this. Kelly, please stop this madness. Oh my god, Kelly. Why? Fabo still around? Not the Come on, Kelly. Make a connection. Ah! In the meantime. Get to know that dog. Are they not around? Well. <laughs> Trying to make connections here. Please? I want to know if I could. Which is kind of why I would like this to happen. 
No, 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 introduce yourself. That's a cat. Don't want a cat. Want a dog. Where are you at? Oh my gosh, she's in the water again. Kelly, what are you doing? Are you a female dog? Dang it! <laughs> introduce myself to a dog for no reason. Ah, can I? I can't pick you up, can I? I cannot pick you up. I can't clean her, can I? Jasper is just sleeping on a bridge! Like, I'm trying, okay? I'm a bad parent or I'm a bad dog owner. It's one or the other. I cannot succeed at both. It is not possible. <gasps> Ooh, frog. Dick. Hold on, if I put my baby on my back, can I do those things? Mental absip. Oh. Pick up this baby. Put it on a carrier. Uh, yeah, this. Look for frogs, dick. Are you putting it in a back? I said put him in a back carrier! I swear. My sims don't listen. Ugh, alright. If not, I'm just gonna invite the other dog. <gasps> oh. <gasps> this dog's name is also Kelly, and it's a female. <laughs> Dang it. That would have been funny. I'm looking for mainly a small dog. I don't need to, I don't need any big dogs. <gasps> Wait! Wait! The dog's back. Friendly. Kelly! <laughs> Kelly, please. Please go with Fabo. Please. Please. I would love to see this happen. It would be so cute. A little poodle Yorkie cross. A Yorkie poo. Begging. That was a cat. Yep, that was a cat. Do I need to be friends with the other one? All right, you know what? This, we're, we're going home. Let's start with that. Let's go home. It is cold. <laughs> and we need to get out of here. I have my baby sleeping on a bridge on the floor. Yeah, and it's about to be a blizzard. We need to get out of here. Ah! I'm hitting things. Reminder, we only need nine more subs for me to continue streaming for the next five. If you want me to continue streaming for another half hour, I need to get nine more subs in the next five minutes. Otherwise, I'm peacing out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring over the other dog. Oh, also, I need to do a poll. All right, guys, go ahead and vote. What do you guys want me to stream next? You want me to continue with Rags to Riches? I'm having a lot of fun with Rags to Riches. 
I promise you, no matter what, I will go back to Disney Princesses, but I would kind of like to finish this uh, week out with another Rags to Riches. And then maybe next week we can start back up with Disney Princess, but I have been genuinely having a, a ton of fun doing this. Um, oh. Symphony. Water research. I did just get a new frog, right? Or is it a duplicate of another frog I had? Alright, I think I got a regular leaf frog. Dang it. I messed that up. Dang it, I messed that up again! Oh, Stims, thank you so much for that six month resub. Thank you, sweetheart. And you guys said rags to riches. Yay! All right, so on Friday, I'll be doing more rags to riches, which I'm excited about because I love this challenge. It has been a hoot and holler. Now, why is he in this outfit? Because I don't remember making this one of his outfits. <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't gotten a phone call from the surrogacy agency yet, and I really want one. Oh my gosh, yes, and we still have to do that. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess I could put his handprint up. That's cute. I just need to center it more now. There. I don't always hold on to these or put them up in any way, but... I think it's cute now for this stream to do that. All right, let me. Can I change his outfit? Because I don't like this one. More. Change outfit to his everyday stuff. This is not an outfit I have him in. Put Jasper down. Now. Is there any crystals I can harvest or frogs I can get? Cause I haven't, ugh. I haven't gotten any new frogs in a second and I really want some, yes. Okay, there's one frog. All right, and I think there's one more frog spot location down here. Nope, I was wrong. One down here. I can dig for treasure though. I can dig in there. My son's fine in the house. He's fine. I don't have to do nothing. He's got this. I have another dig spot there. I'm seeing a lot of dig spots. What I'm not seeing right now is a lot of other crap. Is that bassinet crib thing from a pack? It is from a, it's from, it's custom content. But if I remember correctly, I think I have it saved on my Pinterest. If you get, if you download CC, um, I know not everybody does. I personally like, you know, downloading CC. It's great for me, but I understand how everybody's not the same way or feels the same way about it. Um, no, I don't want you playing in the sand. We're trying to move on here. Uh, no, no. Go harvest that. Go dig there. And no more frogs. Okay, I think that's all we got right now. And go back to home and harvest my crystal tree. I wish I play on The Sims 4. Ah, oh, dang it. Or on the console, I mean, sorry. I play on Sims on the console. That's unfortunate, though.
Not me downloading CC right now. Oops. <laughs> oh no, I'm bad about that, but it's fine. Unknown caller. Hello, Allie, for contacting because yes, yes, this is the perfect time. I'll do it. Go. Oh, we're doing it for the Fries family or the Fires family. I always call them Fries. I don't know why. I always have, but it's Fires. Oh, send it to daycare for a little bit. It's time, guys. We're getting pregnante. Hopefully. You did not. You better be pregnant. No, she's not. Dang it. It didn't take. Cancel, advance, carry. Ugh, I can't set it up myself for money. I could do it for free for somebody, but I don't want to do that. I want to do it for money. She didn't get pregnant. <laughs> did you make that house? Yes, I did. From scratch this time. <laughs> now, I will say, though, if any of you, um, raise your hand in the chat. If you have ever played The Sims 3 uh -huh. on... PlayStation or on console though. I'm very curious. If you have ever Comedy? Oh, nibs. played the Sims. Oh no, she's sick. Great. Alright, we're gonna have to take her to the vet. <laughs> but we'll see. But I used to, before I had the Sims 3 on computer, my parents had gotten it for uh the PlayStation 3. Yes, go get pregnant this time. Ooh, for Fiona McIrish from the single mother's house. Oh, she still wants to be a mommy. Please get pregnant. Please get pregnant. Begging. <laughs> Allie should take a pregnancy test. Please be pregnant. Please be pregnant. I am begging. Please be pregnant. Especially for the big, uh, for Fiona McIrish would be so cute. Please be pregnant. Please. Yes! Who's the other parent? Allie's wooed with several possible impregnators recently. Which was related to her child. It's not about us. Yes! Okay. Um. Uh, insemination and surrogacy. I can see a family. Discover the baby number and birth gender. Ooh. Uh. Ali is pregnant. Sweet. Why is she concerned about the other parent, though? This shouldn't be a... This shouldn't be a concern. I'll invite her over, though. Um, so we can talk to her about that. She doesn't have the usual surrogacy mod... Uh... Interactions... That I'm thinking of. Anyway, sorry. I was saying, also... Um, this house, the layout and the blueprint plan was inspired by a house that I used to love playing in, in The Sims 3. Um, the living room was here, the kitchen was here, and this was the setup for all the bedrooms. I, I loved it. I loved playing in this house all the time. So it was the inspiration when I was making, um, this house. It, if I could show you guys. It was... This house, but different. I don't know if you can see it, but it was this house. Um, in The Sims 3. I, lo I love this house. I don't know. I always played in it. It was one of my favorites. Um, so I had to put it in here. I just, there's something about The Sims 3 on the console that... I'll never forget. Right. It's one of my faves. 
All right, Fiona McIrish, this is supposed to be your baby, and I'm really hoping it is. Pregnancy if it announced news of the pregnancy. Because, like, in the past, when I've had this mod, I was able to, like, text the parents and, like, talk to them. But now it's acting like, like I don't know who it is. And if they if they make me have this baby, I swear. It has the second floor, but because there's nothing in the second floor yet. I haven't needed the second floor. I liked the, the outside of the house. It was uh, built in inspiration of another house. In the sims 3 so the outside was built in inspiration of this house but i don't have anything in the second story yet but i wanted the opportunity to have a second story so i made the outside related to this but i don't need it so <laughs> so the bottom is inspiration of the one house i like and the top is it or the uh, the rest of the outside is an inspiration of a different house Friendly. Guys, I'm real nervous. What if it doesn't... What if she doesn't... Understand that the baby's not actually hers? Because normally I can text the parents. Ask psychic about... I don't know. I'm guessing the dad is Hector Laurent, but I'm hoping that it realizes... That's the front door. May Prescott, get out of here. Oh, and I gotta take the dog to the vet. I have tried many a times to make this happen. I just don't know that it is. Oops. You know what? Here, hold on. Why? Is this dog sad? Is this the problem? The hero Ruthie. Yes. Like, she's still in heat, and I want this to happen so bad. Yes, please! Oh, they hate each other. How do I make them like each other? <laughs> oh, no. How do I make them like each other? Oh, that's disappointing. All right, well, I gotta take her to the vet. All right, Fiona McIrish, you better take your baby at the end of this because this is not my baby. Again? You shut your mouth right now. <laughs> oh no. Thank you, Cass. Alright, I'm taking the dog to the vet, and after I fix them up at the vet, I'm ending this live. So, you got extra time, even though I didn't get those gifted subs. Just so you know. <laughs> I just wanted Kelly to be with Fabo, okay? That's it. Now I gotta take her to the stinking vet, though. Actually, no, I don't wanna do this. I wanna buy a wellness treat. Can I just buy a wellness treat? Can I just buy a couple wellness treats? I don't wanna go through this whole vet appointment thing. Oh, what cat? Zoe, the cat, is in heat as well. What's up, Mrs. Potts? What are you doing here? Where's the rest of your outfit? 
Did I purchase? Oh, I did the same thing again. Oh. No. Alright. I'm gonna buy like five of these things because dogs are always getting sick and it's very annoying. Wake up, Kelly, get up. How'd we get the tigers? I don't remember. I think eventually they just did it. Um, I'll give her this darn treat. Give that treat. There you go. Take this and feel better. Is that rice sand? That's rice sand. Or Reese. Reese sand. I hate that. If anyone knows the Akatar series, I read the entire book series. Calling this man Rysand. It wasn't until after all of that that I learned you pronounce his name Rysand. And I hate it. Rysand sounds so much hotter. Rysand. Rysand does not sound hot at all. It sounds stupid. I understand his name is Reese, but I always called him Rise. Like rise, rise. Oh, I hate. If anyone else watches, Ak loves that series, the Akatar series, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I read the entire bo book, calling him Rye Sand, and he will forever be Rye Sand for me. I don't care if that's the wrong way to pronounce his name. I hate Re Sand. It's disgusting. <laughs> I hate it. I just hear sand. <laughs> All right, I'm ending the live here, guys. They are all better now. I love you guys so much. I will talk, see you guys all next time. You got uh, eight extra minutes. Be grateful. Or no, actually, you got more than that. Jeez. You got much more time. I love you. I will see you guys all on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Follow me on all my socials on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. I have all of those platforms under Hey Schmandy. I know I've been slow to put rags to riches up, but I've been having a couple issues with my editing software lately. So I did get part one up today. Um, so I need to get part two, three, and four. Now this is the fourth segment of this challenge. I need to get up. <laughs> so I'll be getting those all up soon. I apologize. I will get it up. I think I figured it out now. Ugh, I keep... There's a dog hair in my mouth now. It's time. Mm -hmm.